Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Calvishim. Let's shout a little bit. Oops, forgot to turn off that other thing. From the standpoint of shoutouts, I'm just gonna open something else up. You're wide open! Give a special shout out to Josie Gozger and Nocturnal for, Nocturnal for the follows. Thank you again. But in terms of the game itself, You're wide open! I'm not sure if we have all the characters, but we have a much larger party than when we first started off. So hopefully as we go through the rest of the dungeon, we get to play with the characters. But we'll see how much I upgrade some of the other characters. I might upgrade Bow Girl now that she has like a super bow shot. That does really up her usability for me. Because for a long time, she could only hit in a straight line. But now that she can hit vertically, uh, once the arrow hits something, I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump into the game, and I guess we'll just slowly cross out areas until we get to another boss. Hopefully everybody's doing well. You're wide open! Photo sensitivity warning. You're wide open! Okay, so, I believe I wanted to play more with Bram to see if he had a cap with his scaling strength. Otherwise, you know, I think he came into the party fairly strong. Even if I was, like, avoiding upgrades from death, it's kind of nice that he came in kind of good. The other character, I'm not so sold on, if they're worth it. Like, they do hit at a diagonal, but so does he, and he has better stats. So anyway, uh, we have a couple things to go back for. I technically have a place down there I could go to. I have a ton of keys. We got our keys back. We know that there's some way to commune with the Death God by going to that little icon there. Our goal is to climb up through the Runes of Ash to eventually get to the Apex. Though it doesn't look like we have like too much left in terms of vertical scaling, at least in the upwards direction. However, there is a big mystery thing on the bottom floor. I'm thinking we start heading towards that. I guess I'll go up and around. Both those two were more utility than anything. I think Bram is actually pretty strong. Like being able to do this full screen is very silly. I don't think he's necessarily stronger than the mage. Oh, that's awkward. But I like that he can hit at angles pretty easily. But like, if I'm going through a dungeon, I could just one-shot those guys more easily. You know, man, I wish I'd double jump on these other characters. Oh, that's right, I can't go through there yet. Yeah, I'm assuming at some point I'll be able to break through those other blocks. That's kind of annoying. I gotta go... Where do I have to go? I guess left and up? Yeah, because she can hit the thing against the wall when it's like that, which is kind of interesting. Actually. Alright, okay, we need to raise her strength or something. There we go, let's go this way. So at least I'm glad I gave her some upgrades in case I'm forced to play as her briefly. It seems like she could definitely cheese some fights, which is good. But right now the mage is just very strong. Although funny enough, as fast as he attacks, the stupidity of this damage is kind of insane. So I could see myself cheesing a lot of bosses like this. If I'm ever given an upper platform, I just do this over and over. Not really much they could do. We've killed 59 creatures so far. And our power seems to be going up one every five or so, if I remember correctly. Anyway, let's go back down to the tower roots. I believe I needed several keys. So let's re-add this to the map so I can see why we didn't continue this way.
One thing that is kind of annoying is that I can only rotate your characters in one direction to my knowledge. So I don't have like a way to go cycle like counterclockwise versus clockwise. So it does add a lot of extra presses to get to characters, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh wow, he survived all that. That's kind of insane. That enemy is super tanky. Because the mage is by no means weak. Scrap. Oh, there we go. I can sort of hit it. There we go. The cheese. Give me that item early. Thank you, Axe. <laughs> Alright, chat. Definitely how you're intended to collect the items. I don't know what you're talking about. So if I do die, at least I have a lot more souls to work with. Looks like a mix of Ganon and Mr. Burns. Damn. Speaking of cheese. Okay, so we're doing 43 a swing, which is not bad. I think without his strength power up, I think he's definitely not worth using in terms of damage. But, but then I think he's fine. He's fine. He's kind of a character I don't think I would pick him in a boss rush over some of the other characters. But he's got some utility. We're gonna get additional health, which is nice. Actually, I should just... Yeah, I was gonna say, I can just do this again. I reached those. Kind of. If you kill him, though... We need to kill him for uh, achievements anyway. I might as well just cheese him a little. Oh, trying to time that shot. You have to like look into the future. There we go. There we go. Really? Hmm. Oh, I don't know why I didn't jump for the chain. I think I got confused about my jump distance. I should have just gone forward with that. That was silly. Fortunate. Try that again. Hmm. Oh, too early. How... Did he really not make that jump? Seriously? Platforming is the worst chat, I swear. I don't like platforming. I s I'm not gonna die to bosses, chat. I'm gonna die to platforming. Stuff where I have to time stuff like this while moving quickly. Oh, it's like just shy again. Why is that so tight of a jump? <laughs> hey chat, like come on. Like do I really have to walk to the tip just to make that jump? Please make that, like, slightly longer so I could grab that. Because the problem is, like, I'm dealing with these idiots. Man, this is an annoying jump. If those guys weren't there, I don't think I'd have any problem with the jump. The problem is, like, I'm trying to move forward. I could kill the pink thing, but then, like, I have to wait for the purple guy timing, which is awkward. I feel like that was worse than Mega Man 1 platforming. Welcome, Black Spidey. Yeah, like, this is, like, really annoying. I don't know why they made it like this. They are weak. No, he still didn't grab it? You gotta be kidding me. I was holding up chat. Are you, are like, are you serious? Wait, can you, wait, can you seriously not grab those? Oh, can you not grab those? Oh, I didn't try grabbing that one there. So annoying. 
So I have to jump with a very specific character then. Oh, that's... I don't like that at all, Chad. Be real with you. So how do I... I have to make that jump with this character? Ew. Gross. Yeah, I was trying to grab the chains because that's what you do in Castlevania games if you see chains, but I guess I'll do this. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Now I gotta get a good cycle. <sighs> so annoying. Without bonking into the purple people. Uh, is this a good cycle if I just go fast? No. No, it's not because he got in my way. Man, that's annoying. I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. It's just more like... It's because it makes me feel like I'm forced to rush due to the spikes. Like, there's just like little small things they could change and I would make this very easily. Yeah, I don't like this jump. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. There we go. All that just to get a block, huh? What is the purpose of this block? What do you want me to do with the block? Is there something I couldn't do before? I mean, I'll definitely put this block, like, here. For now. Alright, that's it. So I did all that for a block, but I don't know what I need the block for. You know what? I'm just damage boosting. Screw this. There comes a point, chat, where you're like, eh, it's fine. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? I die and get a power up? That's fine. Hmm. What? What an excessively annoying place to be in. Huh. Interesting there's no boss music for this fight. So the problem is... Really? He hit me through the sword slices? That sucks. Hmm. I guess I could Mega Man dash through this. Yeah, we need so many different characters, because I can't kill the ghost without this guy. And this guy is kind of a annoying matchup for me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to chuck axes to this chat. I don't know what it wanted me to do to shoot this guy, but this is what I'm doing. Hmm. <sighs> Spikes were up no matter where I went there. That's fine. We unlocked a shortcut. Go this way. Oh, that enemy respawns every time? Oh, that's... that's horrible. Ew. Alright, we're doing this then. That way I don't have to worry about it. Let's go up the pit. Okay. Okay. Two out of three challenges completed. Just gotta get to the other one. If I die again, I'm just gonna upgrade Bow Girl. We didn't really get far enough for this to matter at all, so I'm kind of okay if I die. she's worth using over this other character just between these choices there's a red switch up there but i can't go through the blocks okay how weirdly ominous expect be sure that what you did was right i don't know what that means and any character hit that It'll put me here if I... It puts me all the way back here? Oh, come on. Really? It put... It doesn't take you to another room. It puts you back there. Are you serious? Wow. So we just lost all of our progress, by the way, Chad. Thanks, game. Well, I think we know what my least favorite area of the game has been so far. Zero contest. 
whatever. I'm just gonna damage boost through him. I know. I, you know what? I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna go get my upgrades and go die. So annoying. I thought it was gonna take me to, like, a secret room, because that's what those tend to do. I was just, wasn't sure if I needed to activate it or not. Unfortunate. Anyway, let's improve her damage a little bit. Um... See, a thousand makes sense if I'm looking for her to be a boss character. I think this really matters. Free crit chance, I'm not gonna say no. Attack speed up could be useful on her. We're gonna just upgrade her with what we can, so she feels a little less terrible. So she's gonna go from like 17 a hit to 21, but she also fires faster and can sometimes crit. That should make her feel a little better to play as. Unfortunate. I know, wow. The game has been pretty good at not doing troll picks like that. Also, I'm really glad I collected those souls ahead of time, because otherwise I wouldn't have had anything to upgrade there. Yeah, I think he's the only one that can reach this guy, and I might as well hit him. And it resets the block position? Wow, that was super not worth getting the block then. At least this character is pretty tanky, so I'm going to take advantage of the fact that he started with natural stats. And I might just damage boost through this guy. This guy just seems really annoying to deal with while there's the projectiles. I wonder if I could do something like this. I'll take three damage, that's fine. Oh, I was hoping I could do like a little short hop, but I forgot you even if you very lightly press you go really far still Yeah, like there's a just like difference between holding and tapping, but you still go pretty high with the tap Anyway, let's go this way I don't think I could do anything there. We checked that room already Oh, I love the mage just bullies him positionally. Okay, we don't have to kill any more of those. Let's not touch that, since it's just an ultra troll. Okay, so if there's any other unlocks we need by the end of the game, maybe we'll try to unlock them now. This will play as her for a little bit. I don't see any secret passageways lighting up. Okay, like, that's a decent attack speed now. I mean, she still can't kill him reasonably quickly, unfortunately. Though I can't go up here. Hmm. Where do I go, then? Love going through the floor like that. Nice, I don't have to kill another one of those if I don't want to. I just need one more. How do we get up there? Maybe I have to go up and then right and then down? Do I need to bring the block there, maybe? Um... See, the problem with that is that I don't think I could go through those blocks over there. Because I was thinking about that, but... I don't think I can. I'm assuming those are solid. I don't need the block to go anywhere else in here. I'm tempted to die rather than platform back here. There is like one other place I could double check to see if I saw anything that I missed. Yeah, because there's no secret passageway here. Unironically, I think it's actually faster to just die than go through this maze again. I'm just gonna die. Because there's nothing I need to do over there. If those blocks weren't there, I would say probably I could go up through the ceiling there, and I would agree, but 
I think the answer is I have to take a different path to hit the other switch, and then I come back the way that I was. Um, let's see what his abilities were. 3% chance to crit, increase damage based on the current of total of orbs held. Increase the size of Junk Throne. I might see what those do. Are there anything else I can purchase? See, I think these are story-related, so I'm going to hold off on the story-related upgrades until we're, like, basically done with the game. Um, sure. Let's see what bigger loot looks like. And just improve her damage slightly, so I might actually be able to use her, finally. So if I find a really cheesy spot to snipe people... Like, I think we could agree, chat. This is, like, leagues better than when I first had her. Like, before I was doing, like, this. But now I could just do this. It looks like at least she has a lot of attack speed scaling, which is kind of nice. Okay, I mean, that's somewhat useful, I guess. I still probably won't use him until, like, early endgame, but it's fun. There we go. Oh, wait, so I can't... Can I not go anywhere? I was just thinking, because I don't have a whip yet. Hmm. Maybe I can't do anything here yet? Kind of sucks. Because I'm double-checking, I'm pretty sure. So if I go right, I could go down, and then I can hit the other switch. And then I can hit another switch, which is presumably a shortcut. So if, if that room that's... I can't move the map, the pointer down, but... See how I'm blinking in the room in the middle? If I go right one, down one, presumably if I hit that red switch, it will open up those weirdly colored blocks that were there before. But I don't see another way, because I don't see the thing in the upper right. If you see in your chat, there's kind of like a ring with no color. It's telling me there's no secret entrances or anything for me to take. So I think what I see is what I get here, sadly. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, what happened to his co Wait, what? Uh-oh, uh chat, we glitched his color. That's a new one. There you go, chat, take a photo. Take that iframe coloration. Oh, there we go, we fixed them. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? You definitely saw something you weren't supposed to. Anyway, I guess we'll go back to actually progressing. So I can't do anything there because I don't have the equivalency of Stone Crush or whatever the thing was called in the other Castlevania games. All right, so we have a room that needs a silver key, which we do have. We have an item I could collect over here. We don't have the green Gorgon Eye yet, so I think my goal is to come back to all these green places later. Let's see if we could just find a boss at this point. As we went through here, there's something we could do with blue keys. I don't really care about it. Well, we'll go back through this. So I think what I need to do is just keep climbing until we get another uh, Gorgon. Oh, actually, I'm going to go to the right. So I see that there's, like, other items over here. I'm going to acknowledge that. But it doesn't make sense to backtrack to them now. Since I don't have green Gorgon Eye yet. Uh... There we go. So now if I'm going to be forced to use her, at least I have some pretty good damage. Let's see, where else can I go? Alright, so I haven't unlocked whatever this shortcut is, but maybe I can if I go up. Alright, I mean, her damage is okay. You can see how they, they wiggle. I know I'm definitely going to get an upgrade with him at some point. I could do anything from here about that, sadly. Gotta go the long way for now. Yep, 
yeah, I'm not doing your little magic blocks. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so I could go right up or left up. I think I'm gonna go right up. Oh, or not, apparently. I wanted to go the other way. That sucks. Alright, first and foremost, we need to unlock a shortcut really soon. So I don't have to do this journey every time. Need to kill any more of those. Oh, that actually damages you? Stand before the statue to ascend. Okay. It's not quite where I thought it was gonna put me, but sure. Yeah, unlike the other teleport. This actually took me somewhere useful. Hmm. Assessing what to do. chat. He's trying. I just don't care about his position. There we go. Cheese him out. Okay, that's good. I don't have to do this again at least. So is this gonna open something that I can maybe- oh maybe in the next room it'll open a ladder or something I could climb down with. Or not. What the- what the heck? Okay. We went from, like, somewhat normal platforming to welcome to hell levels of platforming. Okay. Not walk into the spikes. Mm hmm I might as well break this. I don't see why I would come back to this yet. A little bit of her health back. Oh. Are we, are we seriously... You, I didn't unlock a single shortcut, and I'm going right into a boss? Are you are you kidding me? Chad, we had, like, how many rooms is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, teleport, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rooms. I really hope this boss fight is not going to be hard, chat. I'm, fingers crossed. I hope it's very cheesable. Okay. Or is it not? Oh, not a boss fight? Okay. Damn. Mercy. Damn. Okay, right, last time we were in one of those rooms, that was a boss fight. I mean, I'll take it. Good. So now we have the ability to come up here in the future. I didn't get to that health the normal way before, but maybe one day. Oh, I forgot he had an AoE. Man, that sword reflect is letting me down today, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. One would think I can't actually reflect projectiles. There we go. Alright, so at least there's a shortcut now. Hmm. Walking your head there is evil. And we definitely want to get the key. Multiple things I can hit with the mage. I can almost cheese it. I'm curious if there is a way to hit that, like, where you're not supposed to. It's like, we're just a little shy. You know what, if I had, if I had brought a magic block here, I think I could actually skip this whole puzzle. <laughs> Chat, I'm like... Wait a minute, I think if I could somehow bring a block here, we could skip this entire puzzle. Oh, but there's nothing to grab around us. Let's take a look for a block. 
Because we basically just need, like, one more block's worth of height, and I think we could do it. Um. But. Okay, well, that's there. I guess Inferia could kill it from here. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, like, I should win this eventually. Sword strikes, please. Why is this not reflecting? What is your hitbox? I swear. I swear, chat, the sword, the sword reflects a little weird. I swear it's sw the sword animation is going through. Unless only where the magic slice is is where it reflects. It's possible. Then again, I felt like it just went through it again. I feel like I'm just being janked. Unfortunate. What? Wait, what? Why did that happen? Interesting. Whatever. I'll deal with that later. It is taking too long. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't like the look at this at all. What is this? These slow-moving bombs? Is that what I'm witnessing? We're gonna tell these to just go off-screen real quick. place to take to teleport from, but there's also a passageway further. Let's teleport last. Let's see what happens if I actually go through the full passageway. I get an evil. Okay, I'm glad the sword guy also has some upgrades. So we can get this. I still feel like if we could cheat a block in there, I could skip the other side. So if the other guy gets the ability to create blocks at whim, I think we could skip the puzzle. I'm gonna take damage from the ball, because weirdly the ball and chain does less damage than the spikes do. I don't really understand why, but I've accepted it in my heart that that's how that works. Oh, like, see, I could just barely not reach this. See, I need, I would need block here as well. Hmm. Unfortunate. Potentially two different things that signify to me that I would be able to use the block in an interesting manner. Unfortunate. Okay, let's go this way for now. We unlocked a shortcut. Improve the knight's strength if I want to when we die. Oh, I was gonna say, I have a feeling that takes damage. Let me just get, take care of that real quick with the better character. So I have two choices. One of them's just healing, which is whatever. Alright, so now if I die, it doesn't really matter. Because I, I did, I've done what I needed to do to this. Is it even worth trying to go back? I don't think it is. I'll take the damage here and kill this guy. So we could get bonus points towards our clear. I think, like, this guy is worth killing if I can, just to get him off of the achievement thing. And then we'll just choose to die by spikes rather than go through the maze again. If I live, I'll try to go for the blue wind so I don't have to come back here. Great, don't have to kill that anymore. Wow, he is at the perfect angle to cheese that. Can we talk about this chat? What a perfect character for exactly what I'm looking to farm. There we go. Alright chat, this axe was made for you. Thank you, axe. No other character could cheese you like this. 
Hmm. Well, we now have a hilarious amount of souls. Now if I opt to die, we are looking really good in terms of power-ups. So I probably want to make the knight a little tankier and more damaging since it seems to require me to dash more often. I could eventually bring up Bogrel's defense, I guess. Wouldn't really hurt. Maybe I'll leave one of the new characters as my character to die on. Because as I said before, there are characters I'd rather have low defense. Not because I think it's useful to be at low defense in terms of like combat, but in case I want a death warp rather than walk out of the maze, it just makes sense to do. This is kind of one of those examples. Yeah, he is just kind of the perfect angle for killing me quickly. Right, chat? I mean... Don't mind me, just getting the kill achievements. Speaking of which, can we see how many we need for that? The little sword icon means we don't need to kill them anymore. Wow, we didn't get this guy's kill things yet? Huh, okay, I thought we had it already. Alright, so we need to kill seven more. I think we could do that before dying. Right, chat? Saves us a trip later. If I don't do this now, I have to do it at the end of the game, if I'm looking to potentially get a true ending. I did see I needed basically everything unlocked to get the true ending, FYI. So while we're here, I might as well as do this, so I don't have to come back through this dungeon. Like, I'm not going to kill, like, every single enemy in one try, because we still have revisits to do in general. But, I mean, if they're right here, and it's an easy farm, I'm not going to not do it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I need to kill one more, because the spider web count was off. There we go. Alright, let's death warp. <laughs> Truly the fastest way to travel, Chad, is death warping. But now we can have hilarious upgrades on all of our characters if I want to now. Yeah, yeah, failed your task, whatever. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. His strength is already pretty good. It barely costs anything to rank this up, so I might as well rank it up. I'm gonna give the knight more defense. His defense is 4. This is 10. Let's just make him our tankiest character. Um... Okay, let's make her attack speed max. We're close to max. And eventually we'll just kill with Shining Ray. Shining Ray, I think, is gonna be like the end game killer. So she'll end up being really good when I don't need any more upgrades. But for now, it should be good enough. So basically, the characters I'm forced to use now have much better defense. Uh, is there anything I wanted to check out while I was here? We'll revisit this when I have more powers. This I can't visit without the, the spike chain. There's a room up here I can't get to. Well, I could probably get to it now, but I don't think it's worth going to until we're doing cleanup. We have a green area over here we can't get to yet. We have two green rooms over here we can't do anything with. So all the green rooms we have to revisit. And that includes this, because we didn't actually finish clearing this, to my knowledge. We still have, like, that room and then this room. We have a whole bunch of bonus areas up there, which is interesting. So we could get one minor health upgrade. And more importantly, if I feel like I'm going to be taking damage that's hard to avoid, I can just swap to this character now, since he now takes very little damage. Or if I'm playing as this character dashing around, we take way less in general. Which is good, I have been using him a lot more. So he already attacks pretty quickly, so since I'm using him for movement reasons anyway, I kind of like where he's at right now. He's kind of our backup boss killer. Okay, so we know if I go like up, right, right, up, left, up, up, we should be able to get to a health increase. And then we can make some progress. And again, if I'm forced to use her like this, at least her damage is pretty decent. still need to kill more of those slugs, which I think I'm just going to do now. 
so we don't have to come back for them. That also builds up his kill count anyway. Nice. Okay. I don't remember if we killed this demon enough times or not, to be honest with you. I'm assuming... Is this gives him invincibility. Okay, so we killed that thing enough times. Good. Wax is so useful. Look at the cheese. Hmm. So I can't actually go left from here. That's kind of annoying. So I have to go right up. Left, left, up. But what's to the right? Why couldn't I go to the right from here? I could climb upwards if I want to. Hmm. Well, Chad, I mean, I'm not gonna say no to this. There we go. One less enemy I gotta kill now. Man, he is just the perfect height to hit, like, every enemy. It's kind of unreal. Love this axe. So I could jump up here and go right, but why didn't I go further in this room? Stop me. There's a magic place, a block, and an enemy. Hmm. Interesting. If only she could just do damage a little more. Aww. Bomb button. Chat, the perfect height yet again. Thank you, Axe user. Okay, so it's gonna force us to use him briefly. Interesting. Big head needs big damage. Oh, he can't quite hit it. That's so sad. What the? Oh, the little bullet hit me. I was wondering what hit me at first. Well, on the plus side, chat. Okay, so we can hit that normally. That means if I get a good shot at it, I could just do this. Should be faster. A little more dangerous, but okay. Goodbye, big head. There could be only one big head. There's a switch which will presumably open the blocks to get the key. It still didn't explain what was down here, so I'm like, I kind of want to backtrack again. I feel like I unlocked the way to the boss, so that's why I'm just exploring this area a bit more. Hmm, so there's a blue door there. What's the point of the blue door? Can I just go to the other room regardless? I mean, I'm... Oh, there is a secret passageway here. Hmm. Really, where is it? Oh, I see it. I see it. <laughs> I had to look at the non-chat view for a second. Interesting. You can quell these flames. The reward will be yours. Okay. Hopefully the reward is not death. What's the bonus here? Oh, just the key. Oh, that's kind of lame. I was hoping we were going to get more. I mean, I guess I got my blue key back, in a way. Hmm. Oh, it's like just slightly too slow at shots. How annoying. Oh, is he stuck? <gasps> oh, chat, let's let's savor this moment. He's trying to land, but he can't. Hmm. Hmm. 
with beautiful cheese. Poor enemy. Did we just say something we weren't supposed to? Ooh, I almost asked you many times. Okay, this puts me on this side of this horrible room. I remember this room. All that just to get here? That's all that was here? Kind of wasn't worth it. I mean, I'm on the other side of this room, I guess, but... My cat getting lots of use today? Yeah. We're finding all sorts of bugs today. I love it, though. So this is just kind of like the Axe Guy's power, only it can't go through... Oops, I wanted to do some shots there. Only it doesn't go through walls, which makes it a bit less useful. Ew. Oh, I don't like I don't like this room at all. Ew. Um. Oh, how he gets a warning as to where he teleports, but the other guys don't. Whatever. Uh. I would like to not back through the, backpack through this room if we can avoid it. I'll kill this guy because I can, not because I need to. Okay. I think I'm glad I went this way. So with that, I should be able to reach the ladder and get the power up. I don't know what the point of the other one is. Why would I ever need to hit that switch? I, with the one that I just hit, I don't need it. So I basically jump to the top of the ladder, go on the blocks, and then do the blue person's dash. Which goes really far. Like you can see from here to here, I should make that ladder without needing to hit the other thing. So, with that in mind... What is this horrendous starting location? You just be able to go here, right? Yeah, why would I why would I go the other way? <laughs> right chat, wait a minute. It can, it's trying to gaslight me and I think I need this. Like, no I don't. Oh look at that. I'm like pixels for not being able to hit that. That is so sad. Yeah, I'm not going through there. This items don't cool down? Oh no, it's too soon. Did chat like me just going, nah. Like, nah, I'm not <laughs> I don't know what it thought I wanted to do or what I was going to do, but I'm not doing whatever that was, that's for sure. I do need to kill this thing a bit more, sadly, but he's kind of in an annoying position. <laughs> Why exactly? That's what I saw when I saw that. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, we don't have to kill that guy anymore. We just need to kill this guy a little more. We're in business. So if we kill this guy enough times, we should be good. Speaking of which, are there any other easy enemies? Oh, surprisingly, we wouldn't get the harpy either. We've killed most of them enough. The whites, we can always go back to, because I know they're in a room we need to go to. Oh, we only needed three of these? Damn, I wish I checked that earlier. Yeah, we have most of these. So many kills to get. We need three more. That's not too bad. I might just work on killing the remainder. We don't have to worry about the giant heads. We'll, we'll find those eventually. So honestly, we have almost 100% of the enemies killed, surprisingly. We just have like a couple of these guys left to clear up. This guy is so dead. He's not surviving mage spam, chat. It's too strong. Alright, so we're going to make sure we kill this lich, because this is like the only room I've seen him in. That feeling when I just attacked the whole room instantly. So we now have a lot of upgrade points. So it's probably going to go towards more defense on our main movement characters. Possibly the mage as well, because I do have to sometimes play as him for movement. There we go, we got the kill achievement. I don't know if we got the achievement for killing the Gorgon. Oh no, never mind. That answered that question, chat. Question asked and answered. That means I could just do this if I want to. 
We need more of this guy dead. I wonder if I could do this instead. Can I farm him from this side of the room? Because this would be more convenient. Really? Just slightly in the wrong position. On the plus side, this Cyclops just explodes when we attack him. I'm gonna check something in a moment if I do this. Oh, so he doesn't even need to get the kills. Oh, that's disgusting. So he count I thought it last session when we played, I thought I needed to play as him to get the kills. No, so if I'm just farming the kills for the achievements anyway, I just end up ridiculously overpowered with the other guy. Okay. Because essentially they do about this- like, right now that the whip guy does as much as my mage does. Because by the time 8 ticks times 3, I could just whip again for 42. So right now the whip guy actually outdamages my mage completely. And we have not been focusing a lot of damage on the whip guy. Okay, let's just clean this up there. Or, yeah, mid-boss is actually getting farmed. Look at our soul count chat. So dumb. Well, I'm glad I went over here, because if nothing else, we got more kill achievements out of the way. Sorry about the farming. I, I sadly need to do this for the 100% clear, which is required to unlock something, as I have been told. We're going to go ahead and do this. I wonder if there's a better room with the hopper guy, but it doesn't matter now. Let's see. Did we kill enough of the giant eyes? I don't remember. Oh, it's the same one. Never mind. That was a different enemy. Hmm. Oh, she's just like. I think she should have been able to crit things that are flying. Yeah, see, now we're legit one shotting. Which is so much more useful than the other characters. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So I could go up from here. I remember this room. This room is kind of annoying. So there's the secret passageway over here. Look tired, you can rest here. Who wrote this sign? I can rest here. Might as well save and rest. Hey Zeke, where did you come from? I've been living in ruins for so long I can barely remember where my village was. Do you remember your family? Or friends? I remember that some lady took care of me when I was small. You're still small. Ha ha ha. Stop it, Arius. So, this woman, what did she look like? She had curly hair and skin that looked like the golden sands. She sounds very pretty. That's what I remember. I hope to become a powerful wizard so I can one day find her again. I was gonna say, was she raised by Medusa? I hope that's the plot twist and we kill Medusa. Take that, Zeke. Maybe Algus can teach you a thing or two. Really? Could you, Algus? <laughs> Perhaps. Let's stop worrying about the poison first. Oh, let's worry about stopping this poison, excuse me. Alright, so I think they're just gonna say the same dialogue for eating the meal, so I'm gonna skip through this. Yeah, the other characters don't seem to have any new lines. Yeah, we read this skit like five times. They really needed to add a few more skits for eating the meal itself, or just avoid doing it altogether. Yeah, we know about this funny squeaks, yeah, yeah. So we got some health. Um, I did not get a dash. Oh, that's right. You can't dash jump while on the ladder. Wrong. All right, so we did all this to go here. 
Got a little extra health. So now if I want to try completing the climb, we have more health than before. Hmm. Don't have to do this room ever again, which is good. I think at this point we should hit a boss. Like, we've gone pretty far. I am still really surprised we were not attacked in this room, to be honest with you, chat. It feels like the faces were gonna light up and we were gonna get into this awful, awful, long drawn out battle. So, yeah, so the fact the whip guy scales by me just passively playing as any other character is kind of insane. Because his only downside is he is a bit weak before he gets upgraded. But once he's upgraded, his damage is kind of insane. Like, 45, 45, 45 is much better than the other guys. 26, 26, 26. Get a witch. A little dash there. Um, I'll kill you for good measure, just to make sure I didn't skip you by accident. Uh, one more kill, just in case. Let's see, did we unlock another warp? Oh, oh, this is a, oh, that's an annoying room, right chat? Well, hmm, okay. Well, this just became extremely terrible. At least I see a secret passageway I could take. It was worth checking this room out, if nothing else. This, look at this nonsense chat. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go through the wall. Oh, all this is just for healing? Oh, but we get another shot at these guys. Yeah, there we go. That felt satisfying. Alright, uh, so... I guess I could pop these for healing. Give myself a chance later. So I'll try not to death warp. So we're pretty much now back at full health for the rest of our journey. That's pretty good. I was gonna say, I think we could pop that urn. Hmm. Might be able to like just barely hit him. Yeah. Let's play it a little safe. I don't really want to go back to the start or take dumb damage. Let's do this maybe. Speed it up. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we have a passageway above us. We just need to be able to reach it. There we go. We respawned the ghost, so I don't have to worry about that. to kill one more of those, which is a bit unfortunate. But he was kind of body blocking, the only thing I would cared about. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Chad, I'm gonna ask you an honest question. Where is the warp? Welcome again, Nate. Chad, the, our last warp was down here. I've gone a lot of I've gone a lot of rooms. I don't necessarily need another shortcut, but man oh man, Chad, this this better be there better be a warp play like, right here. Holy, we've gone a long way. Please hurry a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so let's hit this because I can. I don't think these could be destroyed. I'm just gonna knock them out of the way. Fun. 
It needs another silver key. Are you kidding me? Oh, game. Come on. There, I, there hasn't been like a... There hasn't been a single silver key this entire journey. I had that from before we started. Oh, no. I can't even see what was up here. Man, that was not worth. Not worth. Rude. Yeah, I would dot 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 that too. I was like, I just did like the one of the longest climbs and it's like, no, thou shall not pass. Oh, interesting. I hit the back of it. Oh no, I just crit in general, I think. I'm going to take this thing because I would like to still find a healing thing somewhere. Um, I don't think I could reach that with her, right? No. I'll take the healing at this point. Okay. Oh. Of course. Uh, of course. I gotta go back. I'm so scared to touch that warp chat, but I have to at some point. Let's at least deal with these. Okay, that's that's not too bad then. I was worried I'd have to like literally go back. Oh, where's this? Whoa. Oh, what a room. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of glad we unlocked this because I needed to kill the skeletons more. So on the plus side chat, if we die, we are going to end up with like an insane amount of upgrades for the mage. Interesting. Oh, that's evil. Oh, and it doesn't show up with the rare, with the hidden room icon. That's mean. Oh, chat, I would have been checking if it was there. So now we know, chat, the hidden room icon doesn't tell you where all the hidden rooms are. Oh, come on, really? That's brutal. That's a knowledge check, chat. Well, we technically unlocked a shortcut, but we could have been here a while ago. At least in terms of shortcutting through the dungeon. That's brutal. All right, what I'm going to do is... I still need to get more skeleton kills. Oh, no, this one has the blinking path. Oh, we just haven't been here in a while. Oh, uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair, you know what? I don't think the other one did, though. I'm gonna double check, unless it was just a bug. Ooh, the multi-hit is kinda nice from her there. Yeah, this one didn't blink, right? Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, so one of the one of the paths was marked correctly, the other wasn't. Is we definitely went through this room. I remember hitting the blue thing and everything. Alright, we're gonna reset a couple times just to get the skeleton kills, because I don't think we got it yet. Might be faster if I do this. Yeah, that's much faster. Unless this counts as a different skeleton, which is possible. Hold on, chat. Let's double check. Oh, it's a different skeleton. There. So what about this skeleton? Is it its own thing? We killed the evil urn enough times. Some of these enemies we just haven't seen more than once. Oh, does he... Does he not count? Oh, no, he's here. Okay, never mind. Rotten skeleton. Fair. Okay, so... So we kind of unlocked a shortcut back? Kind of? Wow, we're doing 52 damage a swing. What an upgrade, chat. Yeah, we're legit two-shotting them. There we go. His power is scaling out of control. That's what I want to see. So I just want to know, is there a limit to how high that scales? It's at 52 at the moment. Guess we'll find out at some point. <clears throat> okay. That wasn't too bad. It actually forced me to take the shortcut back. I actually, I'm going to take that back. I actually like that design. It forced me to go tip, go find the shortcut, which is good, because I would have missed it normally. But this is the angry guy that I need to kill a lot of. So we might as well do it. 
kind of tanky. It looks like our damage is still scaling upwards, but what we could do... Oh, we had another one of those guys there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was gonna say... Oh, forgot about the bird. Interesting. So if I shoot him dead on, he doesn't multi-hit. Unfortunate. Hmm. This is fine. Since we've unlocked a shortcut, now if I go back, it doesn't matter at all. Uh-oh, the bird got stuck, chat. He's trying so hard. Funk. It does seem like our damage is scaling nearly infinitely, chat. Like, we're, de we're now doing 55, which is adding up as we're exploring. So again, I wouldn't necessarily pick him as, like, the first character. We weren't supposed to. He wouldn't be, like, my first character when we first come back, but, I mean, it seems to be scaling infinitely. So he's getting 12 a hit. So right now he way out damages the mage, no question. We're now at 10,000 souls as well. This thing. Let's see if we could use her to kill this thing. So we opened up a wall. Is there a reason I want to open this wall? A red key. Interesting. Hopefully with her attack speed, she can kill it before he reaches. No, she is just way too slow, Chad. I, I tried. Let let's compare the damage of this. He is just infinitely better, I'll be real with you. <laughs> Especially with his current power rating. Just actually disgusting. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure we could get that with a well-timed dash. There we go. Red key acquired. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we only now need to go here. Which is nowhere near as bad. Because I was wondering why it was making us go through this. There's still rooms over here. We haven't even seen yet, by the way, Chad. Like, we we don't even know what's here, because I didn't go there yet. So we might have to backtrack at some point. We'll take the healing. We're going to clean these up. So if we get another statue to commune with, we are going to get some really stupid upgrades. Yeah, he's actually just one-shotting them, chat. Holy, so strong. Oh, I can see this character being used in a speedrun. If you just never die, he has infinitely scaling power. Or at least it seems like it so far. Sorry, skeleton man. Hmm. So presumably I just have to kill all the enemies. Oop, did not want to do that. That was kind of scary. Before I get to do that, <laughs> I don't have to deal with that other statue at all. Damn, he's good, chat. There's a block. I'll take the healing. I don't want to quite go back yet. So what would this block do for us? I don't think anything at the moment. We could go downwards, though, which is kind of interesting. He's doing 60 damage a hit, chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's too touching them. Oh, what a god. This is, the, this is like the best support character I could ever ask for, chat. Be real with you. Oh, there's a red switch. Okay, now I see the point of this with this. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's three-shotting the tanky enemy. Insane. Let's unlock yet another shortcut. So if I come from the warp, I can now just go up. So, so if I die, I can warp here, come here, teleport here, go up here, come back to where I am. So now dying is really low pressure at the moment, so that's a good feeling. What is this, what is this room? I can't reach that. Unless I have the block, which I should be able to move the block to get. You're not going anywhere. Nice try, though. 
so many souls, chat. I could improve the mage's damage just for general boss kills, but honestly, like, if I were to fight a boss right now, I think I would just dunk him. <laughs> just a true story. Let's take this block into the next room. You know what? I'll take this healing as well. I did not want to pick up the block. That was scary. Why'd he pick up the block? Okay, there we go. And now I can come over here. So because I have the other character, I can now cross this gap, which I think was the intended solution. Okay. I could silver key or use a block to hit the other thing. I think the correct call is to bring the block with us. Well, the block disappears if we leave it alone. Oh. That's... Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I was kind of hoping it would just stay where it was. That could complicate some things. But then again, Chad, on the plus side. Look at that damage. What a beast. Let's bring the block with us, then. So I can use the block to skip using a silver key yet again. If I can position it properly. I think this will work. What a beast chat. What an absolute beast. Look at him. He's like, you know what? Like, oh, look at that. You're trying to defeat me? Let's kill you from up here. What a character chat. Alright, so I don't know what the purpose of this room was. I could go up and left. There's an arrow pointing upwards with the guy's finger in the background, but I'm also kind of curious what's down there. We'll come back to the down there later. Let's see if I can wall jump up here. Yeah, that was a better choice. Too strong. Oh, that was scary. And also kind of annoying because I swapped characters to jump and then I didn't have a platform. Whatever. I I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What, what, what? Oh no, is this a guess the invisible platforms? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man, chat, hold on. Let me get some courtesy kills before I tackle that. I hate it! I hate it too, I chat. It. Oh boy. I'm assuming the platforms are at least always there, but. Oh boy. Um. I missed where the platform was, thanks. No! I didn't mean to jump forward. Oh, that's so annoying. I went to jump and the other thing was in the way. <sighs> Defeated by platforming again, chat. Damn. Damn. Oh, hold on. She's got a purpose, chat. Thank you, Bowgirl. Your upgrades are now justified. <laughs> so I don't have to go close to this. Listen, get out of here, suddenly, Centaur. I'm earning my warp. Get out of here. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, that didn't even reach me? That's sad. Damn, he's tanky, right, chat? Thank you. Please tell me I can unlock a shortcut to never go through that room ever again. Please. I'm taking whatever healing I can. Is this a shortcut? Oh, it's a shortcut. Oh, that was so rude. He spawned on me. Oh, come on. Get out of here. I am, I'm fighting for my right to get that relic or whatever that is. Get out of here. Rude. What is this? Icarus emblem. Um...
That allows you to run faster. Okay. Uh, okay. Does that help me with anything? So I could climb this center room to come up here. So I did unlock a shortcut, but it looks like kind of a crappy shortcut to be honest with you. Alright, we're definitely gonna take any healing we can get here. I'd like to not die for a little longer. Hmm. So, we're almost at the apex. We managed to get through this entire area, but I also don't see a green door. Or a, fight, or a place I can fight an enemy. So I feel like I'm missing a Gorgon, but I don't know where it should have been at the same time. Because we have the thing that marks Gorgons, unless I turn that off by accident. Hmm. All these look on to me. Yeah. Maybe because we haven't seen the room yet, it's not lighting up. Hopefully that's just the case. Alright, we're definitely playing as the swordsman here for a little bit, just so I could get up here. Is he out of range of the axe? He's not, okay. But it is kind of annoying to make those shots. I might just play the bow girl and play full screen. Wait, do those not do damage? Oh. Hear that or jank happen. You know what, we'll take this. <laughs> sure, we'll take that. Okay, so I found another switch use. Unlocks that area. Oh, that was such a huge find, chat. Huge find. Oh my gosh, I made it to the warp. Unreal, chat. Look at us whipping and moving. I wonder if that means I can slide more now. Oh, I can slide more. Well, that's useful. Thanks to the uh, movement speed increase. You know what? I'm going to pop these candles. Let's go to the apex. Okay, so we do have an indication there's a boss on this floor. So I can't see it on the map, but I can see it when I take the radar. I want to restore candles later, I can, I guess. Telling me there's a hidden passageway? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Right, chat? Oh, this might change some things. Wait a minute. Well, we have more survivability for the boss. Ooh, interesting. What's over here? Blue key? That's not gonna stop me. Okay. Did I just find more health? Uh, I took a damage, gained a max health. I guess that's fine, but we... Ooh, crush tip I can't go through. We really need to find the crushed stone or whatever it's called in this game. That lets us break those blocks. We have so many pending upgrades, chat. Holy. Alright, definitely defense up attack up for sure. That way he's more competitive. Uh, how close is Braum to capping? Get up to 30 more strength? That's insane. Um... Oh, she didn't have the chain hits. Oh, okay. This is gonna help her do some damage, so this should actually make her useful. Um... I probably just want more defense up generically on some of these characters. I don't care about boss defense there. So we're going to buy some health upgrades. Need more time. I don't know if this is permanent or not. It's kind of hard to tell without looking it up. I don't know what Mercy is. 
I'm kind of scared to burn our points. I'd rather just they go to upgrades. We know inner fire is damage. I'm scared to use death wish and bloodlust. Lucky draw seems like it could be useful. I don't know what poise means in this context of the game. Um, let's get a couple more no strength up points for this character. Because we are forced to use him often. So if he starts doing four or five more damage a swing, it might make sense. Let's improve his attack speed. Yeah, let's improve everybody's attack speed if they're not maxed. Everybody's now max attack speed, except for him, which I don't care about. Um... Yeah, all of his other upgrades are kind of expensive. Let's just get more strength up, then. So our mage now takes a little less damage and does more per hit. We now have way better survivability with these characters. I probably want defense on the knight. Because we are forced to platform with him pretty often. So again, if I'm just doing general platforming, that's a lot less that I'm taking now. Rom also, I think it's up to 12. Everybody has their own different stat totals here. Hmm. I think this is fine for now then. Yeah, we got some big upgrades. Do we attack much faster for like two more damage? More importantly, we have more iframes. Let's see how much damage she ends up doing on random enemies now. This might have fixed her, quote unquote. Hold on a second, chat. Oh, it won't let me go up. I was like, wait a minute, what stops you from just wall jumping up there? There. Hmm. Is there anyone I want to teleport for for more candles? Because I could just restore the candles later when I don't need souls anymore. I don't remember, is this an easy place for candles? I think so, right? Really? Ooh. So yeah, she does. Okay, the scaling damage is kind of nice. That might make her more usable. So if she lands a hit, she does 22, but if she hits again, she does 25, hits again, does 27. Okay. I think she's a real character now. But that begs the question, what was this room that I avoided earlier? I, I don't know if I go back for it yet. I think what we're going to do, we're going to explore all the way up to the apex, but not do the apex fight. Just to see if we could get one more power up. And then we'll explore, because we know we can break blocks. So if I could find that power up, then I could just proceed to do whatever I want. Oh, so it caps at 200 kills. Okay, so there, there is, it's not infinite scaling, but it scales pretty high with him. That's fine. be worth improving her defense then and leaving the other character for death. I wonder if I can get this in a cheap manner. If I had a block, I can reach it. Right, I can't wall jump off of that one, but I'll kill this guy just because. Maybe not. Come on. I thought it was gonna multi hit. I mean, we did kill him, but that's not gonna help. All this to get to another warp. Oh, I don't know if I trust the warps anymore, chat. We're gonna do at least do this. I'm sorry, what? Oh, those are spikes, not grass. Good to know. Um. Okay. We're in the gimmick level. Good to know. All right, chat, we're going full gimmick. This is kind of annoying, too, because I'm like, 
I'm used to visually looking at my character to see who I have equipped. I guess I have to look at their icons. Yeah, we can see the multiplier build up in the left side of the screen when I hit, which is interesting. Okay. Wow, he does just legit two shots. Nice hit. She just... Okay, so she still really struggles with fast enemies. Meanwhile, this can happen. <laughs> right, chat? Like, look at this. He, he is uncontested our best character, no doubt. He's incredibly tanky, is the highest defense of the party, and he just absolutely one-shots everything. It's so dumb. But at least we made the mage a little better. So if we don't die, he remains the best character. If we do die, he becomes a lot worse. So take that as you will, I guess. I did not mean to fall. But that falling axe killing that guy was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. I like that we're in silhouette, but the axe isn't. The axe transcends the filter chat. We'll get there eventually. There we go. Oh, so the mage doesn't have an icon of his own. I, I just never look at his icons when I play, because I'm just looking at the character, as I said before. Okay. We're in quote-unquote darkness. So I guess this is leading to the boss we saw earlier, maybe. Pretty tanky, but we do have a little extra damage at least. Weapon is so good, chat. Look at it. <laughs> Four shot. Alright, so there's the switch. Is there a caveat? Nope. Okay. There's a health increase. Oh, barely get the minimum height needed. There we go. That is a tight shot, chat. There we go. We got there eventually. Guess I'll take the extra health. We'll probably die before the boss battle, but on the plus side, when we go to die again, I'm gonna get so much health back. All this for a key, huh? What was the point of this? this was this whole area just for one key? Also, one, one small thing, because the mage has no unique icon of his own, it's kind of hard to tell him and Zeke apart when I'm swapping into them quickly. Really? We did all that just for one key? Okay. We're in that one level from Donkey Kong Country Returns, I'd be real with you. I don't think I got that far in that game. I'll take your word for it, though. Hmm. <laughs> it just kills so quickly. <laughs> it just... Just by far, Chad. My my gosh, if we could get him with another strength increase, how stupid he's gonna be. Look at this, he's two-shotting them. Get out of here. Cool. I do like that the projectiles show up with a different color. Wait, so how do you leave? Unless this opens a warp or something. Is... No. Uh... I... Unless there was a warp in that last room and I just missed it. Yeah, if there was a statue back there, I missed it. Unfortunate. Uh... Okay, so I think at this point I might just choose to die. I'm just gonna die. I just- I, I don't feel like- wherever this is trying to get me to go, I'm just gonna leave for now. Sorry, my 200 kills. I just find that way too annoying to go through. Uh, let's see. Um... 
defense is okay. Let's improve my defense for normal travel. Because at this point, I don't care about my damage at all. My damage is exactly where it should be. So let's just make sure platforming hurts us less. We did all that for a key. There could have been a warp to go back. Uh. Oh, cut me a break. No, 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 no. Hold on, quit game. <laughs> or at least, let's go to a save point. I, I am not playing as the shadow version of my character. Did they not think I was going to death warp out of that room? All right, we're quitting. Hold on. I, I'm not playing the game like this. I need to see my character. Please fix the character. Ask the lung, please. <laughs> I guess they really assumed you wouldn't die going through there. That was a very bold assumption of them. Well, anyway, we're back up to our normal key count. But honestly, it's like... We did all that. I guess I could go here to go up. I guess I will. It's just more of a question of where I think the next useful thing is. There's a lot of places we can go reinvestigate. I guess I'll go back up here. So plus side, we now have 97 health. Downside, we gotta build our kill counter a little more. Oh, they both got the burn thing. Annoying. I thought they'd only applied to one monster at a time and then I looked at them more properly. And I'm like, oh, I now understand. Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. It really got me on the transition. So I guess I do need to go through there to do something, maybe. Unfortunate. I thought I was done with this area. All right, let's just go back and see if there's another statue. Wait, what's the orb? What? It, did I unlock a new mechanic? So I, so I went back to where I died and then I got more health back? I don't know if I've ever bothered doing that so far in the entire game, so I don't know if it was like that from the beginning. I mean, that does make it easier to progress. And also kind of unfair, because I definitely just death warped to just go somewhere else. Alright, let's go this way. She's so bad at triple targets. Yeah, I like that the whip can also technically double hit if you do it well. I like that there's like a little bit of skill involved. It's not just like the freeze that double hits. Okay, we finally got those. Yeah, like, see how we hit him multiple times there? That's what I want to see. There we go. Hmm. Let's play as the mage. Is yeah, so the mage having more damage per hit is good, because he's got decent scaling. But once we start getting just even a few more kills, I'm assuming the thing to the right to me was damage because it didn't mark that as a doorway. I'm not gonna go to the right there. Oh, maybe I can actually use that even though it looks like the other one. Puts me up here, I just think. The centaur is trying, I guess. I'll give him credit. Hmm. So if I kind of dance in and out of range, I can double strike him, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, see how I'm hitting him three times on one jump instead of just twice sometimes? It's because I'm like going back in and out of the width distance to hit him more than once. 
Oh, whatever. I take, like, no damage from this guy. So this was all just to get here to unlock the warp. Interesting. Poor centaur, indeed. Okay, so there's the blue key there I don't really honestly need. I'm gonna kill this because I want more on the kill count. That imp is in an unfortunate position, as we like to say. Huh? Did that look glitchy for a second to chat? Oh, the monster orb didn't unfade out. Look at that, chat. There's so many visual bugs today. I was like, wait a minute, what happened? <laughs> My brain took a moment to process what I was witnessing. It did not understand. However, now I comprehend. Yeah, so if I do retreating shots while they walk towards me, Didn't I can multi-hit. see something we weren't supposed to? Poor White Cat. She's going into overdrive on this particular session. Yeah, definitely very buggy. Okay, we got through that. So yeah, if we dance in and out of range, we could get more damage with the Bip user. Which again adds a little more skill expression with him, so I kind of like that. That it's not guaranteed, but because he does so much damage, if you could do it, it just speeds up the kill process significantly. Hmm. So we're in one room from a boss, and I have over health. And I have two characters that are at max defense. I'll probably be fine. Let's see what we're about to walk into. This feels like I'm about to fight the Black Knight again. Oh, we're not. Who's this? So, you have escaped. Interesting. Shut your mouth! It won't be long before I crack that mask and expose the grotesque monster you are! Okay. Oh, so we can walk into her without taking damage. That's kind of important to know. Also, that's a lot of flashing. I apologize, chat. Okay, where's the real boss? Hey, chat, this boss might have a weakness. Okay. I don't think I care about this. That's fine. Hey Chad, I got bad news for this boss. We seem to have a really hard counter. I'm not gonna move. I don't think this boss can do anything to me. Go ahead, hit me. I only take two damage from you. It's over. Although the ghost being there makes it a bit more annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That does make it a bit more annoying. Anyway, fight over. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, listen. Listen, we we got like so many upgrades getting here. This boss is not gonna do anything to us. Alright, so if I need to upgrade again, I can. Yeah, so we are definitely way overpowered, and we're getting even more souls. Not that I think we need them. So hey, if I want the mage to become tankier, so he could just do that all day, I guess I can. So we're definitely gonna upgrade the mage's defense at this point. Why can't I move? Hello? We plug in the controller. There we go. All right, so now we should be able to explore a lot more of the castle. So yeah, that boss battle was very sad. I just like to say, like, the platforming, annoying and difficult. The boss, easy. Brain dead easy. So we did all this just to unlock this area. So presumably I can climb the apex now if I want to. The question is, should I do that? Because we know that we can't get here without more kills. Um, you know what? Let's go back to the beginning. It was... Work in Tomb 1? Yes. Enemy 
we stand no chance. What was here? I'm noticing a fatal flaw with the enemy's positioning. Maybe chat can identify where the fla the fatal flaw was. Um, I'm kind of okay with improving Graham's damage, honestly. I mean, the mage is definitely going to be always stronger, but for normal clears, I'd rather play this character. Just a little, little bit of a mispositioning on that guy's part, but you know what? That's fine. Um, that'll take me up there. I don't need to go there. I could go down a floor and then over. I'm just trying to decide where to go first. There were a lot of keys I could use in here, but I didn't see the purpose of doing so. It just seemed like a, a key thing. Like maybe I would get one item in doing so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I want to do over here. I'm going to take the work back, actually. Funk. Well, I guess I could just briefly go to the Apex and get more defense, because at this point I'm just looking to not death warp anymore, unless I just need- unless I'm at a point where I can do absolutely nothing and just need to go back to the start, which at this point shouldn't be very often. Okay, so his defense is almost maxed. And improve her defense by one, two, and damage up. Okay, so even if I'm forced to use them, I should take a lot less traveling through. It should feel a little better to explore the rest of the castle. As it's a four, damage-wise, I feel like I don't need anything. Like we're we're good. So let's go back to Hall of Phantoms. The other thing I need to double check is if there's any monsters here I didn't complete in the B-Siri. Yeah, we'll go back to Runes of Ash for that one, that's fine. All the Phantoms, the white, we still need it. Okay. Yeah, there's also the quote-unquote Cathedral, which we haven't been to yet, so... I mean, like, we killed an enemy allegedly in the Cathedral, but it's not marked on the map as the Cathedral. Organ Tomb. Right, so there's several Hall of Phantom things I haven't killed. I think I got a good understanding now. Pop this. Goodbye, random bird. I could go up or down. I'm going to go down first. So again, our damage is still really good. And what I can end up doing is just playing as the other character and whipping everything to death at this point. I'll take these because there's no reason for me to ever come back this way. Satisfying. So what's this way? There's one of the whites we need to kill. We can always come back into this room later if we need to. Oh no, Chad, I'm getting more upgrade points, so oh no. Alright, we're gonna reset this room a couple times to get these kills. Oh, he spawned up there. That's kind of annoying. We don't need many more of these. And we don't have to come back to the Hall of Phantoms for anything. So just in case there's not a white where we're about to go. There was a room with three of them, that's why we ended up with a lot of kills. That's fine if we take a little bit of damage here. Okay. I need this guy to go in a place I can actually hit him. Nope. 
Him being in random positions is kind of unfortunate. I don't mind him moving randomly. I just wish his starting position wasn't random. The way it's easier to farm him. Oh, this is where the bell was. Oh, that's right. We never did come back this way. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this is where I could have gotten the other kibbles. Okay, so what was the green door that was over here? Is it the short? Oh. I keep getting stuck on the ladder. There we go. Did this even... Oh yeah, there is another room over here we haven't been to. There. Oh, I bonked. Oh, come on. Brutal. Can I make that with this character? I do this. Yeah, that's much easier. All this for a red key. Interesting. I haven't seen many red doors yet, so that's good that we picked this up, because we probably needed this to go somewhere else. That's not a bad find. Really. So, okay, that... Kind of worth it, because we needed to come here at some point. So we're getting very lucky, I would say, in where we're going first, because I haven't found something I couldn't get past so far. to like how do i cross this gap because i can't wall dash no can i glide that i don't think i can right that's actually kind of annoying can i no i can't is it can hmm <laughs> all right chat i don't know how to make that gap due to the thing in the middle like i could do this very easily but she falls super fast oh you could stand on this oh okay never mind we're good we're good I thought that was just decoration. Let's see, nothing to do here. All this for a warp. We immediately use the red key we found to do what? Okay, that's not at all where I thought it was gonna take me, but sure. Well, chat, we now have a lot of upgrade points. I did the music play and then stop. So I found a whole new area. That's... Okay. Uh... Huh. Okay. Well, on the plus side. Dealt with. Well, I guess it's good I increased my defense. We might actually need it. So that means they mislabeled one of the enemies, because I didn't fight the enemy we fought before in the cathedral. So, oops. Bestiary fail. <laughs> Remember that red female knight? I was saying before we fought her in the bestiary, but she wasn't listed in the other location we actually fought her in. So, oops. We need to kill more of that thing that I just killed. Oh wait, that still that still fills combo when it gets blocked. Oh, that's kind of unfair. Okay, that's actually really good of a trait for her to have then. Hmm. 
Which actually seems like a job for her. Okay. Here we go, champ. We're, we're slowly justifying her existence by just getting her full upgraded. There we go. Um... Get a quick kill on her. So there we go. We're slowly getting the other characters as strong as the mage. Took him a while. Um, hmm. We have a lot of choices. I'm gonna go down first. Oh, okay, that's the other side, that's right. My bad. Whoa, the whip guy can activate those? Wait, hold on, I don't have to play- wait, I don't have to play as the mage anymore? Since when could he activate this with the whip? Oh. Huh. I don't think I should be able to do that, but that's, you know what? That's fine, if it wants me to do that. Okay, this is kind of a weird layout. I think I need to play as her briefly. This is the Reaper's power. A couple whips there. Assuming I can't shoot through that at all, yeah. power pretty much huh I mean I gotta see where this teleport takes us for sure but on the plus side we're attacking so fast the night's actually still pretty good he, he has surprisingly been good pretty much start to finish. I'm not going to call him overpowered, but he definitely makes certain bosses a total joke. And that's before we got any of his boss damage multipliers. Which we haven't bothered with, by the way. Yeah, like, other people can't hit this, right? Yeah, like, see, I can't hit it with this character. Or her. Oh, he can too! Uh, okay, why? If we kill this creature, I might finally get the reward. I am so confused, chat. I guess the bonus characters have another gimmick. Hmm, block up there. Yeah, as I said before, that's, that's very weird. I don't know how to take that quite yet. Yeah, that double hit. See, if you don't know about the double hit, I could see why people might think he's a little undertuned. His double hit there is insane. He does basically as much as a crit randomly. And he can whip the flames? Wow, that... <laughs> Wait a minute, he can do the knight's job and the mage's job? Man, Chad, if he gets wall jump, it's over. <laughs> There's no point to playing other characters. Just actually overpowered. Yeah, let's bring this with us. Get save and rest. Let's hopefully get a heal here. You seem a bit more cheerful than usual, Algus. I'm glad to see that. I've been thinking a lot. Maybe there's something I can do to fix my predicament. Really? You mean you're packed with the Epithemus? That's right. But I must try hard to really uncover all the secrets this tower has to offer. If only I had 100% clear. <laughs> right, chat? If, if only... The old man I encountered seems to have some answers, but I need to know more. I can learn more. There might be some hope. Will you help me? Of course. Anything at all. Goes without saying, Al. You're the closest thing to a father that I have left. Thank you, my friends. Let's take this on together. Oh, we couldn't find any food this time. Oh, it's all right, Alcus. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. We're just glad that you're here to take care of us. Just kidding. I made something extra special this time. Let it simmer all day inside my cook hole. 
I, I'm gonna say I don't like that choice of words. I just I don't think we should call it that. You're what? Yeah, exactly. My cook call. It's a small dark place I used to cook stuff. Phrasing. You mean like a fire pit? No, not really. The cook call. If only I had game packs. Yeah, exactly. It sounds kind of gross, if I'm being honest. Why does that sound disgusting? Well, enjoy your meal. 25 health restored. Oh, and I can rest again. Oh. Wait, hold on. Chat, do you see another bug? Hold on, chat. Look at the left side of the screen. Oops, I shouldn't have a damage multiplier right now. Damn, I'm good at breaking the game, chat. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> they should hire me as the QA tester. I'll find everything, chat. <laughs> Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? I might have to reduce the cooldown of that redeem. It still says I'm at a 1.1 combo multiplier despite doing that. I guess I can't fire it right as I hit something to cause the bug. Oh, it changed to the next room. I guess it has like a soft check to make sure I'm not breaking the game totally. Nice, I got as many kills as I needed there. I'll take the damage, whatever. Oh, she fell at a weird angle. She like Dark Souls gravitated me. What the heck was that? <laughs> she, why did she fall at such a diagonal, chat? Wait, wait, did you see me wall jump? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Is that another bug? I swear I just wall jumped. Chat, I really want you to go clip that. I definitely fell off that platform and I definitely got back on that platform. That was something. Holy. Bugs continue, chat. Um, how do I get up there? Oh, like dash jumping. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. Not too terrible. Whatever. I went to d jump upwards, but the game said no. Ooh. Trying to stick that landing between screens is interesting. Just getting worn out, it's true. That's a lot of bonus health. Speaking of which... I'm gonna keep killing this thing. That's, that's also on our kill requirements. It's very easy to kill, as you can see. Sorry about the screen shakes. We needed 12 total, but I killed three, I think, already. That was dumb. Sorry about the screen shakes. I, I do still need that enemy, right? I mean, we killed a lot of them, as you can see. So we're gonna go back to Gorgon Temple for that one. I didn't end up finding that one in the Hall of Phantoms, but that's fine. Oh, maybe I did kill it and I forgot. On the plus side, we really only have a couple enemies left. So if chat wants to remind me later, Gorgon Temple, Fire Soul, is one of the only ones we need. I think we've killed all of these. I gotta go to the Ruins of Ash for Wolm and Blue Coastal and Cyclops Den. I think those are the only enemies we don't have then. Yeah, we cleared everything other than Harpy. Oh, Harpy we go back for. Kind of annoying. So we have four enemies out of the entire list that we've encountered that we have to kill. That means I could skip basically everything else at this point. I guess I didn't see when I got the Nebula achievement, or I forgot. I know we got the Red Lady one. That I'm not surprised at. Wait. Wait, killing the soul container counts as an enemy kill for this character? Oh, that's not fair. Why, why does that count? <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Is it because it gave me soul that counts? I went from 118 to 119. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that is what just happened. Huh. Interesting. I just like barely not hit that character.
I have this long tunnel I can jump up, or I could take the, the rope. I think I'm gonna take the rope first. <sighs> Punished. Bad news for the eyeball. Yeah, okay, so let's let's witness again. I'm at 127. We can all agree. 127 kills. Watch watch what happens when I destroy this. Yeah, that counts. That's insane. Why does that count? <laughs> I don't think that should, but we'll take it. Listen. Makes what? it way easier to do. Yeah, that makes no sense. Well, that's such a good recovery. Damn, she, he actually two shots them right now. Oops, forgot. I can't make, can't make that jump. Platforming, please. We've almost unlocked a shortcut at least. I gotta get like two more rooms, then I'm allowed to die in two rooms. Wait, can he hit it with his axe? Oh, but he could... I really wonder, Chad, if I could hit it with the whip through the platform. Because we've seen it does stupid things. Oh, it's like we're so close. Kill this mini boss. Okay, so we unlocked... So they're back there that could go over here reason to go backwards I'm not going to oh can't reach it without a platform Drop down from above and go get it, which might make more sense. If I fall on the spikes, I could survive one hit. So I could get the knight's ability to survive a hit. Not for bosses, but just purely through platforming. Might be at that point. A damage upgrade? I might give it to the mage at this point. Really need this guy to come down so I can actually hit him. This is so dumb. I chat like what, please? He's coming to targetable range. Like that. Are they perfectly blocking him? Oh my gosh. There we go. I don't know how to reach that other than you fall down from the other side, so we're not going to worry about that. What? Oh, so only the magic tip counts, apparently. Alright, so I think I at least unlocked a shortcut for later. That's good. Now if I die, I die. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I prefer not to die, but if it happens, it happens. There's a lot of potential souls down there. Damn chat, look at all those upgrade points. Yeah, Bow Girl. Bow Girl's getting some upgrades, chat. Big head, big brain, big damage. Uh, so I can't. That's right, I can't go that way. Um. Hmm. As I said before, I can survive 
Oh, exactly what- well, now I can- you know what, let's just die. Or I somehow lived. Whatever, that's fine. I guess I could double check to see where this goes, just to confirm this is actually a shortcut and I don't need to do anything else. Oh, so there is a block here. Interesting. Hmm. So you can climb while holding things, that's good to know. Does this do anything for me, though, is the real question. Yeah, I can't get past him. Oh well, I tried. Maybe? Alright, so first things first. Defense, like, way up. I don't care about our other abilities, like, at all. I just want max defense. Take her tanky. He's already at max defense. Alright, so now I'm gonna take way less damage, so platforming should be easy. Let's get a little more health, and then we should be good to go. I'll hold off on buying the secrets, because that might be needed for the true ending. So we'll go for, like, the normal game ending and then a true ending. So I did all that to, to unlock a cathedral. What was in the other locations? I'm just kind of curious now. Hmm. Let's hold off on going back to the cathedral for now, because that was kind of a mess. Although, it did feel like we're almost done. Uh, just wish it wasn't so long to get back through. Uh, let's go back to the Hall of Phantoms. Let's try the other door, see if there's any immediate upgrades. Yeah, honestly, at this point, spikes are the only thing that could kill me. They do percent damage to us. I'm gonna go over two more rooms. I'm pretty sure we have all the kills we need for this enemy type. The other enemy type, I think, was earlier in the dungeon. I'd have to go from the other way, I think. Yeah. Anyway, this should be way easier to survive. Oh, I did the thing where I'm trying to attack, but I, like, turn, because I'm trying to run. But I'm, like, stuck a little longer than I think. That feels pretty bad as the bow girl, I'm not gonna lie. Um... What was here? <laughs> what the heck is this room? Uh, okay. A couple jumps there wasn't too bad. Oh no, Cyclops, run! You don't understand. You're not a boss anymore. You never will be. Yeah, that was a lot of ghosts. Oh, they're trying to play the Cyclops up like it could do anything to our party at this point. Okay, so now she's at least pretty good at killing these. So she now has a purpose, Chad. With full upgrades, she is very good at it. Oh, maybe killing mini bosses glitches it? Because I'm still at 1.5. Interesting. Wait, hold on, hold on. Shooting the ghost counts? Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? Okay. I feel like that's more an oversight than an outright bug. This enemy is in a very annoying place. Whatever, we'll take the damage. Seriously. Whatever. Little did he know, chat, that's what I wanted him to do. She didn't wall kick. Him, please. Uh, this is like mediocre worth it. 
Uh... Actually, I have like five health is kind of whatever at this point. Uh, only defense matters at this point in the game, to be real with you. Like, the difference between being, being me being at 110 and 120 does not matter at all. I, just, I don't think it matters. It's more important that I take six lux damage a hit. That way my health has like a near infinite scaling. Got through that corridor. Okay. Um. Wow, we are not really near another door I can check, huh? Unless I go up and right. Let's try going to the other green door up there, I guess. Let's go for here, and then we'll go for this one. Let's get all the hollows before we do Cathedral again. Oh, that's fine. We'll take one damage from you. That's, like, irrelevant. Hmm. Is it faster to death warp? I actually unironically think it's faster to death warp than do this platforming. Just unironically, chat. I don't think it's worth going back to the warp and then going downwards. I think I'd rather die. Because I was hoping that would be a shortcut. We went, like, really far from where I would need to be. I don't feel like walking 12 rooms. No thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Death Warp. Um, improve her damage slightly. I think I will improve her damage slightly. Uh, that should help. And now she's actually pretty strong in general. So area revisit should be super sweet. What warp do I need to specifically go to? Um, I do need to go back to the Cyclops stand at some point to get a kill. This area be called? Is it the Ruins of Ash entrance? Might be. Yes. Okay, so I go right, or you know. No, I go left and down. Okay. Let's see what's over here. There's four works. They have numbers. They're in order I have to go in. Four doesn't do anything. Okay. Three brings me here. I do three again. Oh boy, chat. Uh, are you ready for some trial and error? Because I don't know what the puzzle was, but we're gonna make some progress. So it's three, two. Is it gonna be one? No. That's three, two. Okay, chat. We're gonna brute force the puzzle. I don't know where the hint was for this area. Doesn't matter. Three. Oh, that was such a sick dodge. Okay, it's not 3 2 2. Oops. Three, two. Let's go straight to five. No. Be three, two, four. I'm trying to gauge like where it should be based off of the enemy positions. It's not oh, sorry, I did five again. My bad. Three, two, six. No, damn, it was was a uh, four. It's annoying. Two. Four. All that just to get here? Why? I have so many questions.
It's just, just so I can open the column? Is that the whole point of this? Oh, there must be a hidden switch up here. Got it. Oh, jump slowly too early. Again, spikes are my mortal nemesis. I don't care about enemies at all at this point in the game. It's just spikes. I can land on eight more spikes, approximately. We're back here. Hmm. I still don't know how to cross this. I don't think this has changed any. I don't have the ability to just wall jump over there. Even if I had another block, I don't think it really matters. Hmm. But that doesn't look any more solved than before. So why don't we go down to and see what happens? Maybe there's another ability I can- oh. Maybe there's another ability I can use to get through here. me here, which is super far from where I want to go. That sucks. On the plus side, I kind of remembered how to do it. So that works. I'll take the two damage over the 11 from the spikes. So I could go... I drop down the other direction is the question. No, he can't wall jump. <laughs> I jumped already. If I go down here, is this going to be good enough? Keep it spikes. I remember this being kind of evil, and there's like immediately another place for me to get hit, so I gotta go slightly right there. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna make sure to jump now so I don't accidentally jump later. I'm gonna be real careful with this, because it's like I gotta go left there. Oh, I knew it was coming and it still got me. That is so evil because it just stores your location. So you have to know preemptively where that orb is. That kind of sucks. Just like if you're holding jump while falling there, you might jump. The block breaks, which is really annoying. I hate it! I hate it! Come on, I'm like so far over. Not greedy with the fall. Man, it actually, is it the faster movement? Actually, is faster movement making this harder? I think it is, actually. So I, I am noticing I'm like very lightly tapping it to try not to fall. Oh, there's the jump I was talking about earlier. It caused me to fail. And have to be like so tight with that, like right, that barely got past it that time. Jeez. In an annoying passageway. Okay, what was the reward for coming over here? Just healing? Uh. I mean, I guess I'll take it since I'm here. I'm never coming back to this room. I think Jack could agree. Ooh, there's a warp here. Or we do that. Up this. Where does the warp take us? What? Oh, this is the place I couldn't wall jump up. But why... Why would I ever use this warp? Oh, is it because I could take this warp to come here to go collect the item later? Is that why it's there? Ugh. Oh, yeah, that wasn't really worth. Gross. Oh, yeah, that was not worth. I mean, I unlocked a future shortcut, but it's, it didn't really result in me getting any items, which really sucked. It's a Mega Man bull, yeah. It's, it's so tight. Like, I don't know what- like do, you, like, do you see that? I have to be, like, preemptively ahead. Like, there's nothing I could do if I landed it. It's kind of brutal. So, okay, so I can at least get to the Cyclops Den from here. We can make this journey worth it if I go do the Cyclops Den.
<laughs> I wall jumped off of almost nothing, that was interesting. Yeah, let's quickly get the Cyclops stand for kills, and then we might death warp again, to be honest with you. It's just so happy to see us. Alright, where was the enemy we didn't kill? Probably not over there. Probably in the main room. I noticed I can rest again, but I don't want to. Get that for later. Maybe it was these guys. I forget which one we had to kill. RP I know about, that's fine. It was the... No, it was the blue crystal. Okay. That's fine, we could do that. Oh, I didn't get the momentum I needed. It sucks. That's the momentum I needed. I just want to be cool and jump that way. Alright, we found the enemy I gotta kill. To no one's surprised, the axe is just so good at it, this. Oh, good chat. Nice. Okay. One less enemy on the list to deal with, so I don't have to ever come back this way. Which is good, because I don't see why I would ever come this way. It's also kind of an annoying area in general to work to. So Cyclops stand now full cleared. Mechanism, I think, is full clear, but there is that one item I didn't attain here, which I don't remember why we couldn't do it. Oh, maybe it was Crush Blocks. You know what? I think I told myself last time to remember that it was Crush Blocks. I think I finally remember that it's got Crush Blocks. Alright, so instead of walking back to go to a warp, let's be let's be real with ourselves, chat. I'm not walking back to the warp. <laughs> Just, I'd be 100% I'd be honest with you. The game says I have like 200 deaths later. I guarantee you like at least 20 of them were purposeful death warps. Where I just did not feel like walking back at all. Um... Ooh, another defense point for her. Maybe, actually. He's 9 out of 12, he's 10 out of 10. Sure. That'll help. Yeah, our health total is kind of insane right now, I'm not gonna lie. Where else do we need to go? We need to go to... Our roots? No, we can't do that with... We need Crush Block. We could try to go to... Catacombs 1 to see why I couldn't get that. Let's rule out these areas first, and then we'll complete the cathedral. Because the worst thing that happens is I get the crush blocks in the cathedral. Which is fine, if that's what is going to happen. But just in case it's not there, I want to check it. Wait, what? <laughs> what was I standing on? Hello? That was a little special. Oh, likes. Every time, chat. I still don't know what the secret is in that room. Might as well take the healing. I'm not coming back this way, I have a feeling. Okay, I kind of remember this place. I do like the music here. <laughs> oh, right. I needed the green Gorgon. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's improve the mage's damage. So there's still another secret passageway I can't get through, but that's fine. 
We now have plus one damage to deal with whatever we want. So kind of worth, but it's fine. <coughs> So now his damage is very stupid. Anything else I can unlock here? Not really. We're not going to worry about these areas, I think. We're going to come back later. Is there anywhere else that needed the green crystal, or was that it? I think I, maybe that is it. I don't see any other green crystals. I never found out how to get to this room. I probably just missed a very obvious secret. Um. In which case, rather than exploring further, let's now complete the cathedral. Let's hope the cathedral has the upgrade I'm looking for. And now we do more damage on random enemies, so that's always nice. Slimes. Speaking of which, what was the name of the slime specifically that we had to kill? Yeah. I just want to make sure this one doesn't count towards it before we go further. You know what I mean, chat? I just want to double check. I don't seem to have an ability to rapid scroll, so sorry for going through it slow. Um. Okay, so that, that does count. Okay, so this wasn't a wasted trip. We don't have to go back to the Gorgon Dome. I can kill this thing here. Which again is confusing because we're fighting it in a place that's not listed in the bestiary. I feel like that's just an oversight again. It should really list that this isn't in this area. Because it made me think they were different enemies, briefly. Anyway, one less enemy to deal with. That's good. Hmm. I guess I'll drop down from Hall of Phantoms. I have a couple enemies I have to go back in with the Ruins of Ash. We also have a room over here I never went to at all. But I don't know what the best way to get to that would be. Maybe downwards from this warp at some point. So many questions, chat. Because I think the top floor is just going to be the boss. I'm assuming there's nothing else other than the boss at the top floor. But if there's also an upgrade there, that'll make me kind of sad. Because we have one more thing, which is presumably when we kill the boss that's up there. And two more findables. I'm hoping one of the findables... Well, one of them has to be uh, Whip. The other one's probably related to Zeke. So maybe we'll be able to spawn blocks however we please. Which... I don't think is going to be that useful at this point in the game. Which is a bit unfortunate. But oh well. I could go down, because I don't think that- yeah, I don't have another shortcut through this. I was probably just like a little ways off of getting a warp. Yeah, I was just double checking there wasn't anything else that I could do, according to the map. Health total is okay. Also, I noticed that if I shoot an urn at point blank, it doesn't pierce. But when I shoot it at a distance, it does. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really understand that. I did not want to bonk that. That kind of sucks. Spikes are my nemesis, as usual. This feels like this should have had a hidden area, but sadly there's nothing here. Weird. the shortcuts we unlocked. Um, just fine. Wait, he can also hit spirits? Wait, what? What? Oh, okay. 
Well, I guess they just steal Algus' abilities and just don't tell you for some reason. So they can hit switches and ghosts. Oh, okay. I mean, that's probably for the best. Oh, we still need multiple whips there. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I wish there was a shortcut up there. Ooh, I don't like that the object starts a little lower than normal. Alright, so we don't need to go there in the future. I'm just trying to remember the way back. Unlocked all this. Is there a warp or something that we took? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I was like, oh no, short term memory. Go this way. We came through here. We definitely hit these things. I remember zipping to the far side, so I'm assuming there's a warp somewhere here. Yeah, okay, there was. Okay, so since I unlocked the other thing, I should just be able to go straight up here. Locked a kind of a shortcut. We still have a bit of a journey to go, but I don't have to go through the other doors at least. This is where we were last. I'm trying to remember if you could go all the way up with the shortcuts we unlocked, or if it was just the one way. like slightly too weak to two shot once he can two shot his usefulness goes up like tenfold also what is the spike pattern on the floor by the way um i don't i don't know how to do that quickly and be real with you whatever big jumps now we're back here and i have an okay amount of health So we have a room above us and to the left that we didn't get an item from. We're almost back to where we were before. So why didn't we get- oh, that's right, we had to fall down. So that's the fall down room. I'm gonna jump. Oh, I gotta hit transitioning the screen. Seriously? That sucks. Okay, so let's take a look. So I have to go right and up. Okay. Let's go this way then. I'm injured, but we also have way more defense than before. It's mostly just avoiding the stupid spikes at this point. I'm not really worried about the enemy damage. So if I could just play as this guy, for example, I'm basically unkillable. Taking like two damage tops. Like. Okay. My destination is now visible. Oh, I forgot about that. Forgot. Stupid crush walls. I feel kind of sad that we're basically at the end of the game and there's still many places I can't traverse because we just need this one power-up wherever it is. One day we'll find it. One day, chat. Alright, so we unlock this area so that I could go up here. But I can't... But I also can't make this jump. Wait a minute. Wait, can I actually not progress without a block? So if I had Crush Whip, I could glide with the mage or dash with the blue knight across the way. Is this actually not doable? Hmm. I didn't stop to observe that that was my only way forward. Was there another block somewhere that I'm forgetting about? If there was one in the- there might have been one in the bottom right over here. I'm- if this is- yeah, I think there was a block over here, so I think I need this to go up there. Yeah, 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 okay, I'm remembering. Also, that's rude. Alright, never mind, we're good. Slowly remembering. So now with this block, I can make that jump. Hopefully that means that I'll be at a point where I can... There we go. It's just awkward placement of blocks. 
Hopefully that means I can unlock the block crush really, really soon, because I really don't want to have to do this every time I need to use this. Just keep in mind this disappears as soon as I leave the screen, and I'm not holding it. So at this point I just have to commit. Hmm. Oh no, I missed. Ooh, scary. Oh, those are actual enemies? Oh. That would have been good to know. Well, we need to kill a million of those at some point. Okay, what's over here? Save room. Okay. Whatever damage up is over there, I guess I should go for it and just put it on the mage again, because he has the most scaling per damage other than maybe the bow girl. She also scales pretty well off the damage because she can crit. Whereas flat damage I think doesn't help the whip user as much, although it does mean that my minimum damage is higher, which does matter sometimes. Okay, so we at least got that item pretty easily. What are we looking at? So I need the glide ability here. So this should be extra help to actually clear this dungeon, which is neat. Imagine this is also just a plus one. Which is fine, I don't need it to be a lot. tank. All right, Chad, I'm out of here. Get me out of this here. Okay. We did find something. Please be crushed stone or something. Oh, no. We got the ability I didn't... Oh, no. <laughs> I got the only ability I don't care about. No. <laughs> no, it's too late. I don't think I need this for anything. Oh, I could have cheesed that one puzzle earlier. Oh, but it... Oh. That's so disappointing. I don't even have, like, a use for it. Like, earlier I could have skipped a puzzle if I had it then, but it's like, that that time has come and gone. Oh, that was the worst reward. Oh, I mean, it's like... I guess it means I could just bring it with me and cheese a little bit. I might as well as break this for health. Also, I love the explosion graphic is on the map. That's definitely a big oops. Nice little visual bug there. Um, wow. Well, this place sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have popped those. I think I'm just gonna go die now. I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna embrace death somewhere real quick. Because, I mean, like, the nearest warp is, like, Did not that far from me. Did we something we weren't supposed to? Okay, now question is, what does that other enemy count as? So there's a few enemies we haven't seen yet. We gotta go back to the ruins to 100% these. All the phantoms still has a couple of kills we don't have. Interestingly, I don't see them on the list. Oh, it loops around. Okay. them on the list. I'm killing them, they're worth souls, but unless I already got their minimum kills, which is weird, because I don't think I, I did do that. Oh well. Whatever. Alright, we need to die somewhere. I'm not walking out of here. Praise be to praise be the Lord Spikeus. <laughs> the the spike the spike giveth and the spike taketh. Please take me out of cathedral. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no promise fulfilled. Blah blah. Let's get more strength up on the mage. You know, because we weren't doing enough damage before. 
she, you know, he was only like killing the boss in six seconds. It was just it can make it like 5.5. I don't even I just genuinely don't have a single place I'm interested in using this item. Unless this is something. I guess I could check catacombs. Uh I need to go to the Hall of Phantoms entrance, so may I, maybe I go to Mechanism 2 and look for that other enemy. Let's get the monster kills out of the way, because there's no reason for me to revisit Hall of Phantoms once we do this. Poor game. Yeah, I kind of regret not getting the kills on the way here. I thought we were going to get a lot more enemies to fight. Well, at least he's right here. That's not too bad. Yeah, like, this is at least a small and easy detour. Because we killed, like, a million of the bomber guy. But this enemy only really appeared in, like, two rooms. On resets. Okay. So this is now done. We have to go back to the ruins place. I'm gonna pop this because I'm never coming back here again. Willingly. Let's go back to ruin. Get the kills that I missed here. And then after that, there's no more monster kills I need, other than if it's in a new dungeon. We need to kill the harpy thing. There's also the mystery room I didn't understand how to get to over there, which we'll probably see in a moment. There's Angry Skeleton. Was it this one I need to kill? I don't think it was. I'll kill a couple more just in case. I think I needed the green version of that. We need the green version of that and one more enemy type. But at least this one's a fast kill in case I need it. Yeah, we'll do one more just in case, but I think I got it. Alright, so if I come through the top floor, take the shortcut. The problem is, is I'm looking for an enemy, not the shortcut. Where I chat, it's the platforming every time. Also, we never unlocked the shortcut for this area. Huh. I, I hope it wasn't important, question mark. This other enemy type. I think in there we're killing. That leaves just the blue... Okay, just the blue flyer. And I think we've killed everything else at this point. We've now 100% of the monster completion except for the blue flyer. So we're on a mission now, chat, to find the blue flyer. Then I guess we try to figure out where the crush tip is. Wow, that thing still does 10 damage. That's crazy. We're going for all enemy kills. Yeah, why not? It unlocks something, I'm pretty sure go this way. We're almost done. Like, we have almost all of them anyway. Out of here. Uh, don't need to go this way. Or where was the blue thing? Yeah, we should be able to get, once we unlock everything in the shop, as well as, like, maybe the BC area is not needed? I'm not sure if it counts towards completion percentage. I mean, according to this, we're pretty far. We're getting there gradually. Blue guy. There's the blue guy. Now we have almost all the kills we need. There we go, chat. This isn't just very annoying or anything. Oh, come on. 
Okay, if I come from this side of the room, is he just gonna fly towards me or away? No, let's let's go over here. I'm. Oh, I missed the jump. <laughs> I went to jump, but the jump did not come. Trip jump. So sad. Rest in peace, jump. There we go. So now I think that's every kill. Yeah, I think that's every kill possible. I don't know what this one is. So I think I just haven't found it yet, because I'm pretty sure I've tried to kill everything that was visible. So we have one mini boss we haven't seen and two bosses remaining in the entirety of the game. So we found 72 out of 84. So I'm assuming that these are somewhere. Because we've killed even the spirits at this point. Well, champ, we're now at our favorite part of the game. Embracing death. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to a warp. Listen, I, I'm not going back. Listen, death warp is real. We have nothing else we could kill here. Can we improve? Well, we can improve his defense more. Absolutely. Become invincible, champ. Okay, so we basically have a, two immortal tank characters. There, I mean, this, I remember being a waste of keys. We need Crush Rock for that. The only thing I don't remember is what, what, what was this? So deep. If I go all the way there and it needs Crush, I'm gonna get so sad, Chad. I'm gonna be like, it's such a waste of time. Also, this definitely calls it Catacombs, but then it says Subterraria. They should probably call this Catacombs, to be honest with you. A little less confusing there. I got bonked immediately. I gotta go right down, left down. Oh, and there's also a room I couldn't get to before down here. I should probably check that out. Yeah, we are just straight up face tanking everything. I don't care about the platforming. Listen, chat. This just makes death warping easier later on. That's how I view this. Why couldn't I go this way? Hmm. So we have a weird room that's only accessible from below some for some reason. Bonk. Was there a warp? No, that's where we got the bow upgrade. Hmm. It's possible the other warp brings us there. So there's somehow we have to get down here. Hmm. Alright, so that's why I couldn't go there. It's because there's... There's another room here. Maybe I have to go up through here. So I could go back to this warp later if I want. Let's now just continue over here. The worst thing that happens is I take our little adventure there. Is it worth bringing this block with me? Go on a magical journey together, chat. <laughs> So if we need two blocks for whatever reason, I could just bring this block with us. We did slightly improve at least the size of his projectiles, but yeah, we got a long way to go with this block. Need it. So we'll either see the... Wait, what? Ah, he's just so bad at hitting grounded targets. Holy. So what happened to this box? There we go. We're going on a magical journey together in case I need two boxes. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? I'm not sure. Bo box was in a weird spot. I'm assuming it, as long as it's still inbounds, it should be fine. Right, I couldn't wall jump on the other side. Now I remember this room. This shouldn't matter anymore, right? So I could have done something like this if I wanted to. Yeah. 
So I didn't need to... So I think that was the intended solution before you got the relic. Because otherwise you don't have enough height to reach the other platform to do this. You don't think you've ever used it this much in the single stream. Oh yeah, we're, we're going all out. I don't know if I've killed these, so I'm gonna kill these just in case I need to. Let's quickly check the VC area. Still says 72 out of 84, but unfortunately it doesn't tell me which ones I have opened but haven't completed. Assuming nothing new there, okay. So this is promising. We're in a brand new area, I have a good amount of health. We found the intended solution. That almost looked like I could hit up to go back there, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely hit up for a second. It says there's no hidden areas. What? What? What was the what was the purpose of this? Hold on. I feel like the game is actively trolling me. Can we can we be can we be real for a second, chat? Oops. What? What can this mean? So we have some kind of wall. That I'm not sure what it does. I don't seem to have anything to deal with that. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... But you said there's no hidden room! You lied to me! You lied! You're a lying liar! You're a liar. That should have been blinking red. You're a liar. Bad, bad game. I'm like sitting here like, like, what do I have to do? And I'm like, oh, the game just lied to me. Cool. Okay, whatever. <laughs> just whatever. What, chat, what is the point of the secret room detector if it doesn't tell you there's secret rooms? I'm like sitting there thinking like, no, is it really a secret room? That's such BS. I got lied to. Hum foolery, chat. Our ring is definitely defective. I'm gonna make sure it's on, right? Yep. Blows if the current room has a secret exit. Come on, game. That's a secret exit. Also, what the heck is... Oh, come on. It needs the crush tip. Also, what happened to the map? What? <laughs> what is going on today, chat? So I can't even go this way if I want to? Man... So where's the crush tip? Is it is it really in story progression or something? <laughs> Why white cat? Yeah, pretty much. So I guess we found the purpose of the block. It's to go to a completely unmarked passageway. Cool. Pain, pain. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That is so nonsense. Um. Ah, uh, what a pain. I hate it I indeed. Hate uh... Whoa, this looks bad. Yeah, that just seems like just <laughs> what like this uh, is the okay. reverse power. So we need to find the crush bullet thing wherever it is in this nasty place. Like, do I think it's in Ruin of Ashes? Like, I'm honestly asking myself this question. Like, do I think it's in the Apex? D did I miss something in the darkness? Or is it in Ruins of Ash somewhere? Hmm. I'm very tempted to look it up, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm now just deciding. Because I don't really want to backtrack more. But at the same time, I just really, really, really want to know where this item is. Um... Well, I guess I could always go to the Apex later. Hmm. 
know what? Let's okay. Since this is annoying, let's let's go to Ruins of Ash. I was like thinking about going to Apex, but I'm like, uh, it probably just takes us to the boss. I mean, I I guess there's a chance it couldn't, but yeah, that is really annoying. I basically just have to die now. I don't think I'm remotely close to an exit. You know what, Chad? It's time to embrace death again. So when the game complains I've died too many times at the end of the game, is like, oh, bad player. I'm like, no. No, you trolled me by putting this BS here. Never never forgive, never forget, chat. I'm staring there and I'm like, come on, is it is it serious? I think there were spikes over here. Which should speed up our ability to die. Oh, so defense does matter on spikes. Interesting. Well, that's good. So I can still die quickly on this character. So he'll have, he'll have a purpose in our runs. So I guess we'll go back to the ruins. Um, Raise her damage up slightly. I don't think anything else matters. Her damage is the only one that needs like as much health as possible. Because if she doesn't kill in two hits, she's just in major trouble. Okay, let's hope the item is here, because there was that middle path, I didn't know where it went. And it would kind of make sense for it to be there over our other options. So I basically go as far right as possible, then up here, teleport here, and then drop down might be the play. Because there's also like a silver key here, because remember I also didn't have silver keys for a while. So it could be here, or it could be here. I'm going to start with this room, and hope that I'm not wrong. Just fingers crossed, Chad. I, I don't pick the wrong door. There is definitely multiple places it could be here. Oh. I, I can't actually use a block to get up higher. That is kind of annoying. Hmm. Hmm. dash there. There we go. Okay, so at least I can say by the time we play the game again, we should be definitely done with the game. We, we spent extra time exploring, which to be fair, I did get trolled. Chat all watched me get trolled by that warp, where I stood there like, would they really do it? Like, that's what I was contemplating. I'm like, would they really do that and just not mark it? We did see one of the rooms earlier didn't mark it. I'm like, is that on purpose? Like, hmm. Pop some of these, because I'm not coming back this way. That double hit is so good. Yeah, there's this whole area I didn't understand how to get to. Like, was I actually supposed to kill it long distance? I don't see another way to really hit this boss, other than what we did before. Also, is that projectile just broken? Can it hit me? Hold on a second, chat. I don't think it can hit me. I think only the small bullets do damage. I feel like that should have hit me if it was going to hit me. Yeah, I think I've been trying to dodge that and it just doesn't do anything. Oops. <laughs> right, chat? We're going to put that in the big ol' oops. Okay, at least we're doing more damage on a reflect. Yeah, I don't think that actually hits you. Which I'm pretty sure is a bug. I think we can all agree. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a hitbox. Or its hitbox is one of the smallest things known to man. And it's like only the front part of the fireball and nothing else. Just like whatever, if that's the case. But, you know. I mean, we should kill this thing eventually. Thanks to our enhanced attack speed, this should be sort of okay. Oh, I cancelled out the other fireball. I didn't want to do that. So yeah, no elaborate dodging. I think it just can't damage me. 
I mean, if it can, I'm in like the luckiest spot ever. Yeah, no, it just what goes through you. Yeah. Interesting. Ronos is the titan of time. He is said to have control over the flow of time. The time just seems to flow forward at the same uniform pace. We are just unable to perceive how it is being bent to the will of Kronos. We did all this for a key. Which I don't think I care about, to be honest with you. It's a blue key, so it's not even like a great key. Hmm. So at least we could get this out of the way as not needed. I don't know how to cross this without damage, unless I throw the block. There we go, the block has- oh, and I- the jump was eaten. So oh, so sad. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, it's been, it's been fake this whole time. I mean, I guess I got a key, we... Well, okay, that's not the secret. Well, we could go back up. I don't think I should death warp with 100 health. Feels like that would just take too long. The annoying child is purpose, praise be to block. Something like that. Also, that hitbox on that spike is really generous. Can we talk about that? A little... Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Damn. It also does hilariously less than the monsters do. Yeah, I was about to say, because I can't crush a crush bullet. Hmm, once we get that chat, so much exploration is going to open up to us. Oh wait, hold on. There's one more purpose. Wait, that's all it does? Wait, why? But it doesn't... No! Really? It doesn't even take you to a secret area? Oh my gosh, it is actually the worst. It is unironically just the worst. <laughs> just... That was so much effort to do something that takes so much less time to do as intended. Holy... Actually trash. <laughs> just actually bottom tier chat, holy. Uh, so I could go back up here, I guess. Yeah, this is the room I could have skipped earlier. So if you remember, chat, I was saying... I just needed to come here. I was trying to see if I could have skipped some of this. I think I unlocked this one. Oh no, she could just barely not reach it. But if I could have summoned the block again, I probably could have thrown it like this. Would this have skipped it if I had it then? Oh, I would have skipped it. Damn. We could have left the puzzle half finished. Uh, this area. Mmm. This will make sure there's nothing over here to do. In block we trust. Something like that. Or so it seems, I should say. This is the Reaper's power. Okay, progress is made. So I'm back at the warp room. If I go up two and left one, I should be able to do something interesting. But... I guess we'll use this block. This is for you, chat. We'll use the block one more time. I think I could take advantage of this. I do it from here. Yeah, I should be able to make this now with her. I'm pretty sure I could have fallen down and done this. I just didn't come back here for any purpose. Oh, so that was the block I was intended to use to go there. Okay. 
So we got w exactly one extra use out of the, uh... <laughs> out of the block relic. It's just re-exploring this area. So I gotta go over one more room. So I didn't go down here. Suddenly Centaur. Got bad news for him. I'm kind of a god right now. He might get deleted here, unironically. Yeah, you can do your little angry slashes all you want. It's over. Get out of here, Centaur. There's secret areas all over the place here. I'm gonna hold down to see if there's anything I can fall through. Thing in here. Next room has something, though. Okay, I can see stuff on the left side I can go through. I'm gonna try to not touch the orb. We have another- oh, oh, we don't have a red key! No, We're out of red keys! No, This is probably where the crush tip is! No, Where's the red key? Where is it? <laughs> wow. No, It wasn't worth it! I can't get this! I can't get this! Oh, is it really- is it like really there or something? Oh my gosh! Oh, you know it's there, chat. You know the crush tip is gonna be there. That is so brutal. So brutal. Oh, man. Fine, I'll use the key. Are you happy, game? I'm sure there's no other secrets in this room. Yeah, there's like legitimately only one other place it could be. We've explored every. We know it can't be this because we we we, it, we know that's a health up. We know this is a health up. So unless it's out of and we you know we can't reach that because that also requires crush tip. So the only possible place this crush tip could be, I'm pretty sure, is right here. And I don't have a red key. That sucks so much. So that means we're probably gonna have to go back and actually explore the top floor, which I kind of want to do. I feel like at this point we have earned crush tip privilege. I will play until I get that red key, and then I will refuse to do any more of the boss fights. Is there anything else I could do? I could, I could keep going from here to double check I don't need anything. Her damage right now is pretty decent. I could have been doing this, because I thought it was just the gimmick to light up the room. Sort of like in Super Metroid, where there's like little light enemies that help you see. I thought that's what they were doing in this room, and then I realized later that they were just an another annoying enemy type. Okay. a bit more. Okay, her random crits definitely help. Go up here. I don't mind popping the blue gate here just to get it off the map. I don't think there's any more purpose for blue keys at this point other than to get rid of these. I'm gonna do this so I don't question what was here in the future. Um, and then there's one thing directly above us. Is this a red key? No, it's a blue key. Which we also can't get. Oh my gosh, game please. So brutal. Shake your head, chat. I'm getting trolled on so many levels right now. So that means the only way forward is to go back to the apex, which is fine. We're, we're pretty much there anyway. I might as well just keep going. Ooh, that multi-hit on him was so disgusting. Plus side chat, we now have a lot of souls for one more upgrade.
Okay, now I want to rest in case this gives me healing or something else. Arya Sculey, I have something to tell you about what has been bothering me. What is it? Years ago, I made a promise to your father that I would take care of you if he was unable to. He has saved my life. Taking care of you and your mother was the least I could do after... Arius, this might be hard to hear. Things took a change for the worst. We were double-crossed, and... We were both murdered that day. What do you mean, murdered? I mean murdered. Shot by someone we called a friend. But the crystal in the staff. I've gifted audience with Epithemius during my final breath. Also, breath should probably not go off the Xbox like that. But whatever. Epithemius, the Titan of Death! Exactly. And in a final attempt to cling on to my life, I traded my soul to Epimetheus. To come back, to honor my word to Celias, to ensure his family stays safe. In order for us to survive, I had to embrace death. I've died several times since. Epimetheus' power allows me to re re uh, be reborn again and again. So, that Black Knight, those visions. All three of us have died here, haven't we? Yes, we've all died here. Those visions and feelings are fragments of alternate timelines. I don't know what to say. <laughs> She's like, Algus, why do you keep death warping us? You should have to, you should have told us. We're friends. You go on and on about trust, but you don't trust us to tell us something like that? What the hell? I'm truly sorry. But it's difficult for me to talk about this. Why? You have the power of a titan at your disposal. You keep that to yourself? There's a reason. And what might that be? Dot dot dot, my time is up. When we're done in this godforsaken tower, Epimetheus will take what he is owed. My soul. <laughs> That's such an awkward cut. He's just like, he's gonna take my soul. Mushrooms and a big steak. <laughs> just what a, what a cut over chat. That's incredible. That did not sync together at all. Also, there's five of you. How rude, yeah. I like how the others just don't have any dialogue while we're, while we're here at all. Which is kind of unfortunate. you think they would say something. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's my last meal! <laughs> Dumbfounded silence? Wow, Blue Donna was, uh... Blue Donna actually had it completely right. It got over that real quick, exactly. Okay, so now we're basically at full health, so I might as well as explore. So we need one more red key, and then I can finally finish exploring elsewhere. And okay, we got most of our health back at least. And we're at 110, that's pretty good. Yeah, damn, Blue Donna on point today, chat. So we're in the room, we knew that was a one way from the first time we were here. I could technically replace the candles if I want to, but I don't see a reason to. So there was a way to go right from here through it. Oh, it's another place where it doesn't tell me there's a hidden wall. Chat, wave your finger. Wave your finger, I see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We are definitely gonna complain about that in the final review. There is no reason that should not have told us that there is a passageway over here. I could have been here so long ago. Also, that health thing was kind of rude. Okay, so we got a small amount of health increase. Actually, that's not even small. Damn, I could have had this. I could have had this at the start of the session chat if I knew that was there. Because we entered this room last time, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'm just missing something else. And I'm like, no, the game is actually just trolling. Game is trolling for real. Oh well, that would have been that would have been helpful to have five more health before we got to a hundred something health. Now I think it matters a bit less. So we really just need to find the red key somewhere. Hmm. 
I can start sacrificing my health for damage. I can also improve this guy's damage by 13, which is also kind of silly. Um, I think I'm just going to improve my mage damage slightly. Also, what did the other character say when we talked to it? This is Epimetheus, Titan of Death, a children's story if you ask me. I would sell this scary thing to the overlords, if I could get it home, that is. Oh yes, our mage is now damaged up. Let's see what happens when we finally clear the three beasts. Is this going to turn into an elevator or something? Because he's like clutching it. This will be your last stop? Wait, so, I, so there is a red key somewhere? Oh no, where is the red key? No. Oh, Chad, it's like in a hidden room somewhere. Oh no. I have no idea where it is. Alright, we know it's... I don't think we could go here because it was blocks. I could double check real quick. Because it said last stop, so that tells me that just legit goes straight to the end of the game. Um... I went through here... Hmm, I'm kind of willing to take chat suggestions. I definitely thought there was more to explore, and it appears that there is not, because it warned me. Uh, it can't be that, because that's a blue key. Unless the red key really was all the way back here. I guess there's no reason to not check these rooms now, in case there was a red key there. Because remember, there were a lot of really dumb things I could use the blue key on that I was like, why would I go in here? Maybe there is actually something to use in here. Yeah, remember this nonsense? Look below the clawed hand. What? This is where the Gorgons imprison their captives, or rather, where they store their food. No, so that didn't help. Alright, so I don't know what the clawed hand reference means at all, but okay. Um, that didn't help. So we now have no place for me to use keys. I can't go here, and I can't go there. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I could double check now that I have the block ability, if I'm forgetting if now I can reach something I couldn't reach before. We could take this as a shortcut at least. Yeah, let's just make sure there's nothing I can do now that I have this upgrade. Maybe the block can make us reach one more thing? Maybe. Why couldn't I go this way before? I think I could have. It was just annoying because I needed to dash into a rapid swap. I think this is still doable. Well, you know what it was? I don't think I had the ability to free transform into other characters, so I don't think I could hear what I needed to hear. But obviously now it's much easier. I could swap back and forth. So that way to get there, I could just be whatever character. But this is just going to unlock the other passageway. Uh-huh. Right, so there is something over there. So maybe there's a red key or something else here. Or if Crush Whip is here, that would also be fine. I glitched the slime. Oops. I should have stayed on that screen. I definitely actually caught him exactly where he would glitch out. That was kind of funny. Because he, he became stationary in the block for a brief moment. Alright, so... So what was the hint here? 
Exists a land unchanged even after the Great War. Their gentle wind blows through the grass. Plants grow in rich soil and the water is blue. This land is called Asalon. No one alive deserves to see it. We are cursed to suffer as penance for the past. So let me get this straight. That also is not where the red key is. Oh no, chat. Oh no, where's the red key? There's like one room here. Maybe there's something here. So we're we're talking like there is a hidden room somewhere. <laughs> that is the actual thing that I need. That's kind of rough. Hmm. Because I felt like we did actually like a pretty good job. And we we straight up saw the game lied to me. 100% lied to me more than once. So the question is where the remaining red keys are. Hmm. I'm here. Wonder. Is it somewhere like really stupid? Is this why I don't know where this is? I really wonder, chat. I'm now like, hmm. Maybe I miss stuff over here. I'm now really curious. Hold on, chat. Is it possible? I'm really curious. I think... Okay, so let, let's, let's take the most meta approach possible to this map. I think I have missed a hallway here, but I also think I might have missed a hidden hallway here. And I'll tell you why. Most of the places connecting seem to be at least two tiles tall. So if we look at this, this is like two tiles tall. This is like two tiles tall. So there could be a hidden room here. We know there's rooms here. And that would mean there could also be hidden rooms here. So we're going to do the most meta possible guess. And if that's not where it is, I have no idea where the key is. I'm <laughs> just being real with you. I'm going to look at the map. I don't, I don't see where else it could be. It has to be a hidden room because we've explored everything else at this point. So I'm going to go with the connector pieces. We're, we're gonna study the patterns, chat. I'm gonna read through the code. <laughs> it, it is all in my mind. Let's see, chat. Is that the world's best guess? Let's find out, chat, if I get rewarded. Okay, so let's go this way. What was the name of that map that I have to get to? So the first one I should probably go to is Gorgon Tomb. But go like up and over. Because we all okay, keep in mind we haven't been there since we've gotten our wall kick and other abilities. So it's possible if there's a hidden room, it's more likely than not to be in mechanism, and it's more likely than not to not be anywhere past Cyclops Den. As we definitely had the ring on our entire journey here, so I really doubt we missed that much here. We know it's not on this half of Hole of Phantoms. It could technically be in rooms over here. Uh, but we know that this was all like a tower on the outside. It's possible there could be a room or two down here, and we'll revisit with Crush Bullet or whatever it's going to be called. Again, that's the Castlevania name. I'm going to ignore the heads of the statues. Wait, what? Wait, why did I get souls? Is it because I bumped the horn? That was so random. Um... Because we never really revisited this area after we got the full character swap, other than very briefly. So, like, there could be something up here. Oh, so there is a hidden passageway here. Oh, is it the BS where it's in the upper left of the corner? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Get out of here. Holy, okay, we're making progress. This might be it. The meta guest chat. It's paying off. I did find a room, but is it the room that we need? Holy, how annoying. No, this just led to the lion head room. Also, this is another room that doesn't mark it as a secret room. 
Oh, they, they, this is getting a big complaint when we're getting into the end. This is now like the fourth room that doesn't tell us about the hidden secret. Yeah. That is such BS. Chat remembers the lion head room. Man, I feel like I'm getting cheated. Okay, so we got more souls, but that's not the solution. Is there another room it could be in? It's possible. We're gonna keep going. It could still be around here somewhere. We now know that the ring is actually genuinely useless. <laughs> it does not tell me anything that I need to know. Thanks, ring. Now we're in the wind room. Hmm. I'm saying there's a secret here. Hmm. It's very suspicious. We did break through the other place earlier, but what if it's something different? Like, I would think it would be here if it was gonna do something. Hmm. Alright, so I don't see anything here. Hmm, 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 chat. Hmm. I think this is... Was this where a red key was? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. There could be something secret with the wind blown in the room where I could go, like, downwards from here or something weird. I'm holding down on the floor because I no longer trust the game at all with the secrets. I'm holding down just to see if there's something down here. I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright, so I don't see anything here. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Not there. I didn't see anything at the cathedral. I hope it's also not at the cathedral. That would kind of annoy me. Because I remember we had to get a red... We got like a red key here. So I'm pretty sure we got the one that was down here. We did find another hidden room. There could be something here, but I'm not sure how to deal with the wind room. So I'm not going to rule it out exactly either. Hmm. So let's try something. I'm not willing to give up on this room yet. This is an open area. I wonder... Oh, and that's a solid block you can jump on. Hold on. Because I was like, last time we were in a secret room, I don't- did I do this last time? Oh, that's so evil! That's so evil! Oh my gosh. I'm sitting here like, well, we have to be able to do something. Holy. Evil. Where do we even go back to? Oh, speaking of which, I'm, I still want to check out this place in your mechanism before we go further. 
Man, that's so evil. Because I don't think we had the ring the first time we were there. As I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if they put it in places I can't reach normally. Did we go up this? Yeah, we went this way. This was like the first place we had the wall jump, but we didn't have this. Does that make a difference? Not really. A break chat, I don't... I don't think that makes any difference. I don't have the ability to glide here. Because I can't switch in midair. Oh no, it feels like I'm doing like the boomer kawanger. Where I'm trying to get that wall jump on the most annoying spot ever. Alright, so that's still probably a thing. So what was down here then? Just keep in mind, there's still yet another place I haven't been to. Unless it's a crush block room. Of course, it's a crush block. Of course, never mind. We'll, we'll come back with Crush Block. Okay. So there, there is something there. I just can't do anything yet. Holy. And then I want to check the other side of this room real quick. We have not been here for a good long eternity. I no longer trust the, the stupid lion heads. Give me a second. I uh, can't go through here. I'm gonna do a little detour. I'm not going to the blinking light. I wanna go I wanna see if there's something above the save. Since I now no longer trust the ring indicator. Trust gone, chat. Do anything there. I wanna go right up left left to see if there's something there. I already know the thing over here needs crush blocks, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. Only trusted block, yeah, pretty much. Block is love, block is life. Oh, I remember this room, never mind. It's not the room I thought this was. Okay, so I was wrong about this room, which is fine. I don't have to be 100% right all the time. Actually, hold on. I'm holding down. I'm just, just the case. Okay. I almost thought for a second I was going down there, but it was just my controller. Okay, so. Now that we have the red key, I have I could go from Ruins of Ash 2 downwards, I think. Holy, how annoying. So at this point, it makes me wonder... Where are the re where is like the remaining eleven percent of the game? Is there like a secret boss beyond the next floor? Where can I actually come down from where it is? I'm not seeing how we can fight twelve more enemies. And unless it's a one way, I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where if I then have the true ending, I get more castle. I don't know really what to think of it. My brain is trying to wrap the fact that we're still missing 12 enemies and two bosses. Yet, it was telling me it was a point of no return. Unless it lied about being a point of no return, which I will say is extremely rude if it did do that. Because I definitely interpreted that as I can't go backwards. Power 2, yeah. Oops. Also kind of rude. Alright, so there are probably secrets that I missed, which is probably fine. We still have a lot of keys left over, even though I literally don't see where to use them at all on the entire map. So that's fine, I think. You go to PSO Tower, damn. Del Lily in this game would be so lethal. Be like, oh, health drain, GG. That was such a that was such a good guess. I was like, Chad, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't see what the platform was. I'm like, I think it was about here. I think. Great guess. That enemy exploded. We're not touching the stone. We're not touching the warp. 
It means you're missing her Ilkil, Delilah, and Epsilon. Damn, you're right. Okay, so, it, I mean, I guess this could lead to a whole new area, I guess? For, like, ten more enemy types? Because as I said before, we're missing quite a lot, according to this. Like, two of them are going to be bosses, but that's still ten enemies we haven't seen at all. And it's kind of unfortunate since there doesn't seem to be any kind of rhyme or reason as to where these are. So I honestly might just look up to see where these are in case I forgot to kill something at some point. But I feel like I've been pretty good at it. Yeah, these are at least new enemy types. We still haven't filled in the early ones. That was 41 and 42, it looks like. Alright, chat. We're, we're taking our time. I'm getting every monster kill possible. Yeah, it's Metroid time for sure. On the plus side, that means our damage with the whip guy is going to be insane. Yeah, it's at 105 already. We are not leaving until I kill them. Sorry, chat. Oh, I just want to make sure I'm not coming back. In case something weird happens. We're dealing with it. Need freeze beam and missiles. Damn, you're right. Can you, could you imagine the escape sequence to escape this tower when it blows up chat at the end? How nightmarish it is. We're like, death warp, death warp, death warp. <laughs> it's the fastest way to escape, just perish. Like, joke's on you, game. Alright, we're farming them out, chat. So that's now three enemies. We killed that get the, get the achievement. Sadly, we need more jellyfish kills. We'll kill a few more. Hopefully, we're pretty close. On the plus side, I should be able to afford the final story things. Which I'm hoping locked the true ending. I actually didn't check to see what counted towards it. But it's also possible the percentage completion might have to do with items completed. So, like, it doesn't mark it as 100% because I haven't bought 100% of the items. That wasn't entirely clear for me, but that's fine either way because we need more souls, no matter how you look at it, in order to do that. Does that jellyfish really not count? Or am I just really, really close and they made it really high for some reason to kill? some reason there's seven more of those I need to kill. Okay. Let's progress the room a little bit to see if there's a better room for them. New enemy time. But on the plus side, Chad, we are more likely than not to cap out our stats on multiple characters. And if we need to buy the other things to count towards percentage, we should be good there. Okay, we're farming that jellyfish's brains out. Let's go. So close. And then we never need to do it ever again for any other mode or thing that we unlock. That should be good. So is that a new skeleton or an old skeleton? So we need... Seven more enemy types to kill that are unique. I think that's an existing one, sadly. And we still have one of these we haven't seen. One mini boss. Oh, it makes you fall slowly. Interesting. I guess I'm fighting Kako Demon or whatever it is from Doom. Just a variant. He's got a horn now. Oh, n oh no, it is swimming mechanics. Oh no. We managed to get through the whole game without swimming, at least, so it doesn't seem like it was mandatory. There we go, chat. Swimming mechanics. Also, that eats my projectiles for some reason. Don't question it. Sorry, Kaka Demon, you gotta die. How many times you have to die, though? I'm not sure. I'd like to get a ballpark estimate of how many more. You need to kill it eight more times. Okay, that's not too bad. As I said before, we need souls regardless, so this is fine. Game, please. There we go. 
I, I know. <laughs> we went a really long time without it. At least they realize people don't want to have swimming early, or even in general. Get out of here. Bonk. Get rid of these. Pop you. Four skeletons. Just throw the axe at a better angle. There we go. Well, on the plus side, chat, we are definitely going to be capping our stats before the boss. This should be an ultra easy boss. Like his little wiggly feet. I do like the swimming animation. We get the little kicky feet. Oops. It ate my projectile. Let's proceed. Well, that enemy's coming. Oh. Whatever, I don't play Doom. Let's go through here. Get rid of these. Go through here and jump. Like, might be able to kill that guy repeatedly. Yeah, that's an easy kill. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. We're gonna farm him up. How many more do I need? So we've almost 100%ed it. Just want to make sure that counts towards something new. Or it looks like it doesn't. Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess it's a repeat of an enemy. I guess it's like one of these. I don't see any that I haven't cleared. Oh well. I'll kill it one more time out of spite though. Hmm. Ceiling thing is definitely new. Oh, right, she doesn't actually hit that. I'm gonna see if there's a better room for these. Another blue key. Key. Touch the, the drip from the ceiling, because of course that's the most deadly thing in the game. Oh, man, that ate the input between screens. Game. Stop that. There we go. Is there a Okay. It, I, whatever. That enemy can live up there in the corner. I don't feel like doing this. Okay, fast kill at least. I'm so scared to die, chat. It feels like we would take forever to get back here. So this is called the Serpent Chat. Okay. The saying there's an upwards place? Oh, I see. Uh, can I reach it with this? I feel like I'm being teased. I feel like the game is just actually actively taunting me. It's like, oh, did you, oh, did you want to make progress? Oh, you, oh, oh, you don't got crushed with. <laughs> so rude. Wow, he actually three shot it for real. Okay, now this looks like the room I want to farm it in. So he kills it in two two chucks. Perfect. Thank you, Axe Guy. This speeds it up significantly. <laughs> hey, chat. This shows its power. I'm just actually two shotting them right now. Like, get out of here. Sorry about the screen morphs. I'm making sure we don't have to do this again. It says there's a secret somewhere. I think I see where it is. 
could be mistaken. We'll test it in a second once we kill this thing. I think we can fall down the long shaft that's in the middle. Oops. Wait, does that mean I can prep an attack? I can prep the attack between screens. Oh, that's gross. Oh, sort of. He does the- oh, he does the animation, but he doesn't actually chuck it there. Okay. Sorry about this. So close. I mean, it's just an easier way to kill it. Even if there's room with more than one, I could just get two quick kills here. Come on, give it to us. Gotta be kidding me. All right, Chad, I'm just curious. What was the total they put it at? 27? Why? Is there a room with, like, three of these at some point? Like, why? That's more than almost every other enemy we've killed. Even the room with the triple liches was only 15, comparatively. That's stupid. Alright, let's hold down. Or I can't go through here. There's also something on the side there. I guess I could try real quick. Okay. So we have an abundance of souls. So whoever I want to have cap their defense, I pretty much can at this point. Thank you, attack speed increase. The deadly ceiling grip, chat. It got me. Oh. I guess that kind of works. <laughs> I mean, needless to say, he is really good at killing mini bosses now. Holy. Actually, delete them. So if I go back and forth, I can double hit them randomly. Looks like there's a passageway down here. There is. Oh my, this is becoming quite a dungeon. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a ceiling. I guess that answers that question as to what the hell that was. Um. It's awkward. I'll go over here. So we're now going down another path. <laughs> we have a million souls, which is neat. Oh, we should be able to cap at least one more character right now. Alright, so this seems like Bow Girl time to shine. Doing a lot of wall jumps. There we go. Need to land to switch characters. I don't get why that opens it, but I'm not going to question it. Is this a shortcut or... What? what? Why is there so much more? Oh, that is an annoyingly placed enemy. Can I kill you with axes? Yes. Thank you, axe gods. Also, does the moth count as something? It does. I only need to kill two more, though. That's not too bad. Oh, <gasps> yes! He 
got it, chat. Okay, so we now have every item except for whatever we need to beat the final boss. And get a true ending or whatever. What's a reward for going over here? How is there more? What are we with? <laughs> I don't. I have so many questions. I think I can play as this guy. Put the block down, wall kick, and then swap again? Because that, that doesn't work. Hmm. Good way to do this more easily. But then, like... How do I fit in that little gap? Unless I can get in through one tile gap. So obviously I have to hit the column to, like, do things. Unless I can fall through the floor in the upper right, maybe that's what I'm... Out of here. Oh my, there we go. That was quite a turn of events. Like, I know I could come over here. That is a lot of souls, by the way. I can't fall through there. I can't hold down there. Can he- can he actually just walk through this space? Oh, it doesn't count as solid, that's right. That makes more sense now. Damn, that thing is tanky. Alright, so we have... Five more enemy types we haven't seen. Two of them are bosses, so we need to kill... Eight more of those. And this was the shortcut to the room we saw earlier. Okay, so that's good. We now have confirmation at least as to where that goes. Let's kill these weird head things. That's six out of 14. If I die here, it's not a super big deal, because I unlocked pretty much everything we need. And if I do die, that means I could go back to those other rooms if I really want to. We should definitely finish this area first, in case there's somehow another item we need. And at least we now know that there is a few enemy types here we have to kill. There we go. We have five enemy types left. Two of them are bosses. Two regular enemies, one mini boss, two bosses, correction. Okay, so with all this in mind, we still have a path we could go to by going all the way down. So let's try to do that without dying. We'll see what happens though. We took a lot of damage to get through here. That was just weird. We could take a lot of bullets. Bullets I'm not really scared of. <laughs> bullets bullets harmless compared to the BS of the platforming. Okay. Uh just kinda automatically fell, that was scary. I guess we explored everything else there. Let's go down over here. Coming over here is a lot of souls. Downside is if I do die, 
I'm gonna lose my enemy count at literally the final boss, but to be fair, we do have Super Mage. I don't think we really need anything other than Super Mage at this point. But on, also on the plus side, we're getting a lot of souls to maybe complete another character. I don't know if we'll complete the man of the block, the man, the myth, the legend, Z. But Bow Girl might be able to be maxable. We'll see. Maybe. We have to go back to somebody. Oh, come on. Go up first. Brutal. That double hit was nasty. See if we. In short bursts, I think this character's damage is unparalleled. The fact that he could do 40 damage almost instantly by just making them hit onto the uh, other thing is kind of gross. Alright, I'm just gonna use block here. That one's for chat. If I die, I have to come. I still have to go pretty far back, no matter what happens here, unfortunately. Brutal. All that just to come this way again. Yeah, because as you can see, we're not really need a reward. Like, it's still gotta go decently far. I'm not gonna, like, die backtracking. I don't think it's, like, that bad, but at the same time. Wait, is this hinting that there's like another room below me or something? I better check this out a little more thoroughly. Oh, I got hit. That's not good. A lot of damage I don't need to take. I'm making sure there's nothing on the floor, right, that I could go through? No. Okay. Part of you. Yeah, we have so many places we gotta go to. Kind of unfortunate. They noted that encounter. Secret room. I see a blue key on the right side. I don't see anything immediately obvious on the other side. Damn, he died nearly instantly. Okay. I have a character that can hit that angle. Health increase. That'll help for surviving a little longer. Toad? Why is there a toad room? What? Toad! What? Am I supposed to do something here or just acknowledge that toad, toad is superior? Apparently. Um... Ooh, that makes me a little scared to go through. Oh, so maybe maybe the exit to the area is down here? Oh, that's brutal. Didn't kill him in time. We need to make the knight stronger. Please don't die, we're so close. Path I could go. Oh my gosh, there's still so much more. How oh, is there still so much more? Where is the exit chat? Okay, so this is just for souls. So if I do die, it's not the worst room to die in, at least. So again, we should be able to get some massive upgrades for our remaining characters. Um wow. I mean, look at this area chat. There's an up. We might be able to buy some defense there. Maybe health up will give us more health. Totally awesome. Hmm. I was gonna say, in glide we trust right now, chat. I'm mashing jump and then holding it a little afterwards just to make sure we go up. Hands. Just 
feels like a one way, but I'm still gonna go down it. That's fine. That's fine. So many upgrades right now. Defensive for sure. <laughs> right, chat? We need to survive this dungeon. Okay, defense is capped on all of our important characters. Um, strength up on you. Let's buy some health ups. So now I have a lot of health to potentially so sacrifice to Alcus's Meteor Rain. And our damage is also pretty good. So everybody's defense that I use is maxed. My damage is also not too bad. So now if we death warp, I think this will save us time. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, this is fine. This worked out fine. He's going to be really confused why we revisited him twice, but it's fine. So we need to die at some point. Oh, you could just reveal the whole map? Oh. Hmm. We'll do that a bit later. For now, I like the mystery of finding it. Also, I noticed when we teleported, it said there was a, a secret area. I don't know if that was just a bug or not. Um... Where to even begin? Um, I guess I'll go to Mechanism 2. Get that damage up. Yeah, the place in Catac- There's so many places. Oh boy, chat. Um... We're 96% clear, at least, though. Done for Mechanism 2. So our defense is maxed, our health total is extremely high. Feel bad for the boss we're gonna fight later, Chad. I don't know about you. Even if it's some gimmick where I have to use different party members, I'm gonna be like, I got real bad news for you, boss. <laughs> right, Chad? I got real bad news for you. I of all of our characters except for Zeke are overpowered. Now I can get more damage up. If he starts doing 11 damage per tick, that would be huge. Alright, so that's that's an easy one out of the way. Uh, let's go back. Ouch. Yep, we are doing 11 damage a tick. So that's good. We're almost catching up to the uh, whip user's damage, because he does 70 as a reminder. Earth swing. Hmm. So we are very close to 100%ing. Where to go next? Um, I guess we could go see what that bullshit room was in the catacombs. Or actually, you know what? Let's go to the tower roots first. That's brand new. I'm kind of curious about that room that's not on the map. The one where the even the map doesn't show it. Like, that's such nonsense. Even get healing when I come back here later. Please wall kick. Please wall kick. Thank you. Okay. Ask him real quick. Oh, that did legit one damage. There's the thing I couldn't go to before. We didn't really use the orb multiplier at any point, but I guess in theory we could at some point. 
Because I think that's what the thing did before when we were popping the faces. I feel like our, our gain of orbs went down after I didn't go back and kill them. Oh, that's right. We do less damage now. Fortunate. Ooh. Ooh. Any boss we haven't seen yet. That's on the checklist. Unfortunately for him, I got really bad news about uh, this boss fight. Maybe Chad can tell me what the the, dar the downside of fighting this is. It's a little... I don't think they really thought that one through. Something tells me. So at least I could say we safely cheesed several things we were not supposed to do. That feels kind of good. We have a whole passageway over there. Did not mean to fall off there. Poor boss fight. Now we have a key. Remember the chat, that was that was something we haven't been able to access to forever. And now we could take the shortcut earlier, because chat was wondering if we could have wall jumped up here last time. So this room would have been super obnoxious without the relic, because I could do something like this. Although... No, that doesn't work. I still have to take damage to cross here. Unless I can have more than one? No, I can't. Oh. That just kind of sucks. Well, time to face tank. I don't know what the intended solution was to get through that room, but that's the only way I know how. Kill him real quick. Again, everybody's defense is max. Attack is getting there. I know. I was like, unless there was some kind of weird trick. Door and key. And it pops something up. Hmm? I don't see it on the list of things here. A little confused. It popped up on the mini map, but I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what that means. Right, there's still a place we could go to up here. Maybe block will... Oh, block failed us. I, I still can't get up here with the block. No, don't make me take this war. Oh, it doesn't feel like I made the right choice. Back to the beginning I go. Okay, we gotta power up slowly. Might as well open these. Cause I don't, or at least I'd prefer not to death warp while I have kills, but we'll see what happens. He's so bad compared to our other characters chat, holy. X feed is really sad. I don't know how I dodged any of that by jumping, but we're just gonna nod our heads and pretend that was intentional. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but we'll also take that one. Right, chat, we'll call that a win. Huh? What? Uh... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> I was just... Wee! <laughs> what? Did you see it pop me out at the end? What was that? That was the chain of events we just witnessed. Maybe it's like infinite keys? I don't know. Maybe that acts as a red key? I don't know. I have no idea, chat. Do you know what I do know? I love Axe.
It's not quite boomerang in terms of my favorite mechanics, but fun. Okay, there we go, chat. You happy? Block got like five uses so far. Um, are you a, what are you? What is this room? What? My brain, my brain doesn't understand. Well, we, I guess we explored? There's no items in here, apparently. Giant head. Can't interact with the candles. What a weird room. <laughs> right, chat? I feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Interesting. So the only other place we could go to was up here. Is there anywhere else I want to go to tonight? It's getting a little late. So I definitely want to do what we can and then take a break. So I don't know if something is here. We know there's a secret room over there. I'll probably do a map reveal at some point. We know there's a couple rooms we haven't visited here. I don't know if like every room is a percentage. Because I could see us getting if like if we're only missing two rooms, like 98, 99, that kind of makes sense. I mean, it would be crazy if we actually 100%ed without the map reveal. I don't know what the point of this room is, though, if there's something hidden in there. Or at least I can acknowledge we've been there. But that 90 crit damage is nice. Hmm. Let's get these souls and we'll move on. Anyway, if I need to purchase anything, we should still be mostly good. Speed evaded. Okay, let's get out of here. Again, I love that most of my damage taken is not from enemies. It's purely just been from spikes. Damn you, platforming. I was just making sure I can't kill these in other ways. Okay, so I have to come from... It says Catacombs, but it's Subterranean 1. I think I could do that without dying. As long as I'm playing Whip Guy, he is extremely tanky. What the heck are these obstacles to dodge? save right there. We're definitely taking that health because I'm not coming back this way. Oh. That's fine. Just go this way. He's basically just two-shotting things right now again, which is good. Just some time to rebuild his power. Take another candle. Help total's looking probably good enough for a boss, honestly. Oh, we'll take that though. You know what? I fell off when I didn't mean to. So we'll we'll take that for sure. Seriously. There we go. I'll take 2 damage over 12. That's just how I view it. That whip is so good. I 
just don't trust the indicators, chat. This game is such a liar. Fib to me. I don't think I should forgive it. Like, this is, this is actual BS. <laughs> like, it just... It's just not marked. It? Alright, so what was in the secret area? Is it like a damage up? Is it like a massive health increase? Like, this is really, really, really obscure at this point. So what, what is the reward for coming over here? Um... What? Oh, okay. Just, game was like, whoa? <laughs> Poor game. This items have cooled down, oh no. So we needed all the keys. So even if I somehow got the block, I wouldn't have been able to come here before then. Just dying. She can't handle it. Holy. ABS. What? Are we in like a dev room? Did I find a dev room by accident? Question mark. Uh huh. And interact with the computer thing. Upgrade ABS, maybe. I don't know what S would be on a controller, unless it's supposed to be select or something. That? I don't know. Hmm. I am so confused. I'm assuming this is some kind of dev area. Oh, yay us for finding the bullshit one. Oh gosh, it takes damage just bumping into it. Okay. Splash? Yes, hello? Who's there? Prometheus. It's I, Algus. I'm summoning you. Oh, it's you. Wait, are you? Nope. Hmm. Flushing sounds. So, what's up? I mean, who dares to disturb my sacred ritual? That's what you call it? Fancy. I it's not what you think. Sure. Dot dot dot. What do you want, mortal? Be quick. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and get Meteor Rain, which means I should be able to Death Warp myself at any time. I think that'll be fun. So I guess all that was just for that? It didn't do anything to our map clearage percentage. This is apparently a Star of Destiny. Hmm. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. I figured out how to death warp. <laughs> Flawless strategy, chat. Thank you, almighty death warper. I could have bought you sooner, but... When we're in areas like this, this is definitely faster than doing anything else. We're out of here. And bonk. <laughs> so, that was weird. We still have a lot of health upgrades. We have something story related at the bottom. We're still pretty far from capping strength. It's kind of insane. So we must have needed to do orb multipliers. Maybe it's worth getting an orb multiplier while we walk around. In case we need to 100% all the equipment. 
Where was that at? Where, where was the giant face? I think it was like over a room, right? I don't remember where the other one was. If chat remembers, let me know. We've definitely been to it before. It's just been so long. Yeah, remember this, chat? Oh, it still hits you through the meteor. Interesting. So I think this might be multiplying our orbs. Which is fine, because that's like an easy kill. Um, hmm. Welcome, Huskabolt. Hope you're doing well. Where else do we want to go? We cleared that up. We went through the nonsensical debug room. Um... I guess I could go back up here to the Hall of Phantoms, or is that Ruins of Ash? Might be Ruins of Ash. How's it going? Oh, not bad. We, uh, <laughs> we got lied to by this game a couple times, but I think we're basically going to finish next time we play. We're at 97% completion. So there's something somewhere we have missed. We have access to the final boss. There's definitely no questions there. Yeah, if that even just doubles our orbs, this might be good enough for now. Seems like it is. I think the solution was 324. We're testing my memory from earlier in the stream. I think it was 324. This looks right. Now we have the whip. Can shortcut through here. Poor fairies. <laughs> Listen, we got axe on our side. So we have an item we could get to by going two right, one down, one right. Okay. You like retro style games? Oh, we do a mix. We do some modern games, some retro. I think there's always room for both. We'll do- we'll stick to a lot of, like, RPGs. Is there a different way to reach this that I'm not aware of? Like, can I do... Is there some other trick you could do with this? Like... Is there another block? Oh, that's right, he can hit those. I forgot about that. Hmm. If we could get another gold block here, I have an idea. But if we can't, I'm not sure what to do. It has to be like somewhat reasonably close to this area. Ever played or heard of Master Key? I don't think I have. I'll write that down a little bit of the done wall kicking. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the other side. That's fine. We'll take some damage. What of you. Place the block here. I'll definitely check it out. Give me one second to write it down. Sturkey. We're just looking for a gold face block. Because that'll let me get the other item. Ah, oh, it was in here. Hmm. I understand now. Alright, so we're going to play a little escort quest. But if I mess up, I have to go all the way back to the beginning. So here's the thought process. I should be able to do this. Like this. But I have to do that without falling. Kind of scary. Okay, so if I fall, I have to come all the way back to this room, which kind of sucks. Okay. Give it a shot. Unless I could just make it with just two. Oh, okay, that's not as that's not as big of a gap as I thought. I was getting ready to do the uh, the block walk, as it were. That's fine. Let's touch this. Give us a little bit of a walk. Oh, getting close, close on the block damages you. I think that's the first time that's ever come up. 
Okay. I was gonna say, the problem is quick swapping into the correct character there. Okay, so that's out of the way. So that didn't count towards completion, so maybe it really is just map tiles explored. I mean, we definitely have everything that we can see. I don't think I missed a single item that's visible, because there would be a white dot. Like, there's this here, which we know we had to go back for. So I guess we'll go to the top of Ruins of Ash, and that'll be the end of the session. But otherwise, we have a million kills. All we need to do now is just get to the end. Should be fine. Uh, actually, from here. I actually don't know if this is going to take me where I need to go. No. Hmm. How do I go back then? I'm trying to recall. It's like, it's non-linear, so I need to go somewhere. I mean, I could fall all the way down to the bottom, but that's a really big trek. Maybe I could drop down too? Maybe that'll take me where I need to go. We gotta do this puzzle thing again, though, which is a bit of a shame. Let go of jump, don't get trolled. There we go. Hard left. There we go. I didn't get hit by the screen warp thing now. That's good. Yeah, I could refresh the candles just for healing. No, that just puts me all the way back up here when I'm done. Not what I wanted. Hmm. Is there really no other shortcut to go left? Because, like, if you look at it, this, this is walls. There's no doors here. Um. One more room. Maybe I was just off by a room. Okay, so I will do the long walk from the Cyclops Hall if I have to. Or Death Warp. I will Death Warp if I need to. Was I just off by one? Oh, I was off by one. Okay, that makes more sense. I think this is the room that has what I need. Yeah. And that will put me close enough. Yeah, that should be fun. Dodge the plonk. We're almost home free, Chad. We have, like, one small area to review. Otherwise, I think we have all the items in the game. If you look at our collection, we're missing what is presumably the final boss drop. Because there's nowhere else it could be at this point, unless there's something hidden in the upper left. Go to Ruins of Ash 2. So, if I want to, I could die on purpose and then reset our healing, which is actually not the worst idea ever before the boss fight. There's also the stuff above us we need to get to at some point. Go get that out of the way before I forget about it. It's clear. I'm gonna do all this for a key that I don't need. <laughs> right, chat? I don't know why we ended up with five blue keys, essentially. Yeah, he can't cut those, even with the upgrades. Like, I guess we could have just jumped through here instead, too. I don't know. Either way, we, we don't need the key, so it's like, so I didn't bother before. But since we're just looking to clean up secrets, I might as well as get it. Oh, that hit me right as I was falling down. That sucks. Um... Should be able to kill him here. There we go. Put the 
fire. This room. Forgot where the block was. That's fun. As long as we're out of here, that's all that matters. I could take a little damage because we're gonna death warp at some point anyway. Just as long as I don't die before we do the thing we need to do, I'll be fine. died so fast with our upgrades. So scary. I went to jump, but he was still gliding, so I didn't get the jump. Go through the secret wall. Poor Cyclops. He doesn't know, chat. He tried. He's more successful than his other brethren, I guess. We're getting a lot of souls going this way. All we gotta do is survive the journey there. I will pew pew and blow everything up on the way there. We still need like several thousand souls. So I'm assuming you were supposed to be doing orb grinding earlier. I mean, now is better than when we're completely done with the game. I guess, as long as we're not wasting like a lot of time doing it. Like, kills like that is just kind of free souls as we move. All the way down here. Went that way before, I don't need to worry about that. Do a quick save. I could try to buy a death warp point there. I'm gonna try to full clear this room drop of water of all things. That's still very silly to me. That th that looks like that should just be a background thing, and it's like, no, it's actually one of the most deadly annoying things ever without defense. Alright, let's go. Kill you for points. We still gotta go along the bottom, sadly. So we should have enough to get our mage damage up one more time. We're not getting, like, a terrible amount of souls. Did she... Ugh, whatever. It's like... I'm like, did she seriously just not wall jump the last jump? That was so painful. Can please? Oh. Did I go through here to check what this was? Oh, yeah, I did go through there. There's a secret key over there, which I also don't need. But we'll still get it anyway at this point. Clonk, clonk, chap. They're so lucky the bubble protected them. Oh, I swapped out. Let's go get the key first, and then go check for secrets. And the knight is like decently powerful, despite us not touching its upgrades for a while. Is this a secret switch? No. Hmm. The passageway here, though. Damage up. Well, there's only one character that should go on at this point. The man, the myth, the legend, the mage spammer. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of curious if we could beat the final boss by only using our invincible move. Like, I just want to go there at full health and just hit the invincibility move over and over until they die. I'm convinced it would work, and I don't need to actually learn how this boss works. Now the question is, what's the map percentage? Still at 97%. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Uh... What are we missing? It must be a hidden room somewhere. Oh, there's that one... There's that one room over here. So we, we explored two additional rooms, but that didn't go up a single percent. So is it... Every three rooms is a percent, or is it still counting item unlocks? I'm not entirely clear. Huh. 
That complicates things a little bit. I was thinking that was going to be at least 98%. So that's telling me I probably missed... Six secret rooms somewhere across the entirety of the game, maybe? Which is, like, not bad doing it blind, I guess. And we saw, we saw what happened earlier with the secret room detector. Doesn't exactly work as advertised. Like that little jump. So much damage. Hmm. Do I need anything else on any of these other characters? I don't think so. Damage up time. More health, because why not? More health, because why not? <laughs> Alright, chat, why not? I could sacrifice more to the gods now. Uh, do I death warp? I think I do. I think I do, chat. Man, this is in such a weird place. Is there an easier way to get to this? Like, did this warp put us somewhere we could use? Hmm. I mean, I guess I could. I guess there's one way to tell, chat. Wow, this does 20 damage to us now? Holy. Spike damage scaling is insane. Well, at least we get a death warp out of it, chat. Thanks, Death War. Yeah, see how there's like a red here? Can I just leave? No, it won't let me. Or is this a bug? It's telling me there's a secret area here, but I don't see anything. Hmm. I think it's probably just a bug, because if I come back in the room, it's not like that. But it's also not windy when I come in there either. That's why I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. Okay, so we have one area that I know of that might have a secret. Other than that, I'm kind of out of guesses. So we might save up to get a map reveal. Or actually, what would be smarter to do would be to do this first. I might go back and watch the VOD for next time. Or... Or VOD from last time, excuse me. Next time that we go to play. Because I don't remember where the other giant head statue was. We came across two. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this now. Because that would help if it's like a soul multiplier, which I think it is. Because I don't think it impacts our damage, and that's the only other mechanic I can think of that it would impact. So at minimum, I'll put on level one. It might have been in Subterranean, because we didn't find it for a while, from what I remember. I'm just going to check over here real quick. Oh, so it was right over here. Never mind. Disregard, chat. I figured it out. We're good. Because it doesn't seem to improve our healing at all. I didn't put anything over here. I did not. Okay, I mean, that's at least pretty easy to get to. So at least for next time... What are your flip? Your office are ridiculous. Oh, there we go. So I gotta go right and then up. I could, do that. I could crush block this, but there's no point. Yeah, the droplet is actually just the MVP. MVP of the game. It's hit me so many times in so many dumb ways. Also, I never figured out what the secret was in this room. Right? Because it's telling me there's something I could do here. But, like, I never found it. Like, I tried jumping through here. I tried checking to see if there's like a hidden switch up here. And I don't think there was anything over here. Yeah. Weird. Friendship ended with block, now droplet is my new messiah, oh no. Advance through. So I think it was crush blocks. There were crush blocks in the green area. 
But we didn't see if there was anything beyond that. Oops. Might as well just kill those as I go. I do like the music in this game a lot. Here we go. So what was the big secret that was up here? Right, chat? Let's find out. What was teasing us this entire time with its multi-path passageway? We're still at 97% somehow. Let's see. Despite all those other rooms, does this count as 98%? It did. Five health. So we're down to just 2% left in the game. It might include the final boss room as a percentage on the map. I'm not willing to rule that out. So certain Metroid and Zelda had a threesome, something like that. They are kind of merged together. Through here. Hmm. Love the axe. Actually, can I whip the boulder? Oh, only only the swordsman can cut through the boulder? Okay. So, I'm officially out of ideas where secret rooms are. Unless something is over here. So, I guess I could try to save up for some points. Maybe? I'm willing to concede. I don't, like... Oh, there's... Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more room we could go to. That is the only room I can think of. If there's anything beyond that, I will just say that I will not find it without map reveal. But at least we have a super soul multiplier, presumably. So close, chat. Yeah, see how there's like four different souls that are coming out? So I think it is I think it is actually soul multiplier. So I could have been using this a bit earlier to get more points, but oh well. Better late than never to figure out what that finally did. I, I don't trust the water. Like, listen, we're throwing axes. I don't want them in here. Get this thing out of here. So I guess if I go to the area we were just in, I could get like a super stupid amount of points pretty quickly. Not that I think we need it to beat the game, it's more just a 100% the game. I might need it. A lot of souls. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately I figured that out a bit late in the playthrough. But in my defense, the game also didn't tell me what it did when we had it, so... I could still blame the game on that one. Let's go back up to the Apex. So, I mean, if I were to do the final boss right now, honestly... How much time do I have, chat? Let me take a look. You know what? We might we might just go straight to the boss on this one. And then we could just 100% it afterwards. I don't think it'll take too long to do. I mean, I'm already upgraded. Yeah, just go casually beat the game. No problem. Oops, not the right time. We just have one last room to explore. We have an okay amount of kills, so we're not at like minimum power. So this character scales on the left-hand side based on the number of kills. It could get up to 200, so it's definitely not as strong as it could be. We're also going to get a chance to level here. Oh, that guy is worth so much with the multiplier. Oh man, I definitely wish we had this on earlier. What's over here? Still at 98%. Is this a bonus boss? Figured out the gimmick. Oh, 
Axe Guy is so good, chat. Thank you, Axe Guy. You're the best. Oh, you can leave. Okay. He didn't recover his health. Let's get to know that I could do that. That's kind of funny. Get out of here. So it was... Okay, so we're still somehow missing two enemies? Who are we... Who are we missing? <laughs> who... Where, where have we not gone? We've explored 98% of the map. What? There's only... There's two bosses left. One is presumably the true final boss. Holy... What's this? Is there somehow still another upgrade? Blood Chalice. Standing still regenerates health. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Oh, it's over. I didn't need this upgrade, but it's over. <laughs> Just like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh oh. Don't mind me. Just capping my health before the boss battle. Look how much health we have now, chat. That's very silly. So now we can heal in the boss battles. That's still somehow only 98%. We must have missed. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's the room down there. Oh, there's one more room. Okay, chat, I lied. There's one more room. <laughs> and then I officially don't know where the remaining rooms are. The candles are officially meaningless. I don't need them anymore. I might be able to get a mini upgrade. We have one... Oops. We have one room that I think we could do something in. So getting crush block earlier would have been amazing. That would have saved me a couple of trips. Oh well, couldn't have known. So there's exactly one area we have not been to, Chad, and that is here. We're gonna go back to mechanism. I don't know if there's this I don't think there's a secret over here. There could be a room here, maybe. Let's not worry about that. So at least I can say I tried. I can pay for the map reveal, and then I can buy the secrets to get the true ending, maybe. There's two rooms we haven't explored. I mean, I'd be very happy if we somehow managed a full map clear. So many souls. Yeah, damn, I wish we knew about that earlier. Oh well. What's over here? Extra health, okay. I mean, at least we didn't miss anything crazy. The root area. We're now at 99% clear. I'm, I'm assuming that this counts towards the percentage, maybe? My chat? Like, maybe? I mean, I think I could say I'm pretty happy. If we got all but, like, 1%, I think I'm okay with that, without the map reveal. Let's try to get the normal ending. Oh, this boss is so done, chat. Can we talk about this? I'm about to walk all over this boss. We have max health, I have power up. I'm not at full strength with this character, but we saw he can cheese bosses. I don't have to worry about limited attack windows. Let's go take the elevator, chat. Time to go beat the game. So this is it, huh? Our greatest challenge lies ahead. Are you ready? You should ask the boss if the boss is ready. Hell, I've been thinking a lot lately. About your pact with Epimetheus and your debt to him. Dun, dun, dun. Just want you to know that despite how I reacted, I'm not angry. Just scared. Dun, dun, dun. I feel the same way. Everything has been strange since we got here. I want to go back to. Oh, I want things to go back to normal. But what will happen to you? 
Whatever ends up happening to me will be unavoidable, but you will both get past it. I need to keep living. Do whatever it takes to make things better for everybody. We haven't saved the village yet. Let us focus on that first, and then we'll deal with my fate after people are safe. Arius dot dot dots on that one. Yuli dot dot dots on that one. Don't waver now. We need to be ready for the showdown. We need to be strong. Hmm. Alright, we can do this. Okay, let's show this guy not to mess with us. <laughs> Great. We're almost done there. Get ready. Guys, let's go for the normal ending. You prepare to die. My friends and I won't be beat by the likes of you. This ends here. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I know where the last room is. Oh, this is so annoying. I just thought about it. That's fine, though. Look at the Telfar. Get out of here. Oh, he's mutating. Oh, no. Dead already? How can I be defeated? I understand your suffering, but you don't have to do this. I... I must! You're fools! Sheep deserving only of slaughter! I... I hate you all! So your goal of revenge was to kill the innocent. Stop the poison, knight. The villagers did you no wrong. Ugh. I'll... Kill them all! Kill them all! <laughs> I... I won't die here! Ugh. Not today! Ugh. No! I can't die. I won't die. Uh oh, Chad, is he gonna explode or evolve? Oh, he's like mutating into a fungus thing. Is it over? Round two. I see Medusa in the background. Are we gonna finally fight Medusa? No, the dormant Gorgon, it's waking up. Rise. Rise, my prince. Yeah, you thought yeah, I didn't notice Medusa in the background. Get out of here, game. Unite your dying body with us. Become one with the tower. And exterminate your enemies. What's happening? Brace yourselves. This is not over. <laughs> Can I heal during the boss fight? I can. Okay. I healed one health. I got a little extra health. Oh, I, I can jump on these. Okay. Okay, having glide is super useful. Almost dead. I'm going to regen health during the phase shift, if nothing else. Damn, our damage is so high. Get out of here, boss. Hold on, chat. I'm regening.
Look at that damage. Goodbye. You almost feel bad for it? Yeah, we are really overpowered. Is there another phase or is it actually dead? That's a lot of flashing. I apologize, you might want to look away, Chad, if you are potentially seizure prone, because that is a lot of flashing. End of the line. You fiends have no future. It's over. It's finally over. Thank the Titans. Yay, we can leave! I'd kill for a hot meal right now. Still alive for now. Hmm. Well done, Arius. Oh, I see the Black Knight moving. Kiyoli. Al, what happens now? Let's not worry about that. I... Please don't go, please. You don't have to go. We can figure something out. We're just gonna let him crawl away. We could go far away from here. The Titan will never find you. My fate was sealed a long time ago. Thanks to you two, I'm not scared. Shut up, you're not going away. Not good at goodbyes. You need to be brave, Arius. The people rely on you now. Take care of your families while I'm gone, all right? I want you two to live a long, happy life. You won't be helping anybody. You miserable. You, you will feel the suffering you've caused. The pain. Ugh. Ugh. It'll make you feel what I have felt. If it's the last thing I do, I'll, I'll kill you. No. Epimetheus, you have completed your task and I have come to collect what I'm owed. I, I understand, but what's next? Oops. Something sped up the text for some reason there. That was weird. I'm so proud of you. You've become great warriors and great friends. I guess he was asking if we have anything we have to say before we die. Although I won't be there to witness it. I know that you'll continue to help and support each other. What caused the text to speed up there? Cherish this bond you two have. Never let it die. I have no idea what happened there. Oh, I see what happened. Through the danger and the darkness of it all, through perils and trials. You become stronger than ever. Apparently slightly holding the A after you tap it makes it go hyper speed. My dear children, I'm so, so glad to have known you. Live on, see better days. You two, not the other two over there, pretty much. Take care of each other. Asylon episode 2, Cheers of the Earth. There's another Asylon game? Hmm. Interesting. So I don't know what the pew 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 sound is. Is that my mage eyeball constantly attacking? I was wondering what was that sound was during the cutscene. I'm like, I think it remembers that I was attacking as I died. So we're just gonna hear. Pew, 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 did we just see something we weren't supposed to? I think so, chat. I think you did. I want to check one thing, chat. And after that, we'll have to just save up for the full map upgrade, or I might have to look up the map. Right, 
Thank you for playing Estelon. Welcome back. I saved you a spot. Okay. Take on all the towers, Gorgons one by one, start a new game. Watch ending two. Complete the unknown mode to unlock. Gain 100% map coverage items and defeat the Black Knight. In 100% completion of the Beast Series. I think we're pretty close. We were at 99 in basically both of them. But I have an idea. I'm gonna copy this. I just wanna play from where we are. Hmm. So I have a theory. <laughs> as to what the final thing was that we missed. Just looking at the map again. Oh. Actually, no, we went- did we go to this room? Hmm. I think this is the room we kept going into, and then it told us that there's something else we could do here. Uh. I want to go there real quick, chat. I want to see if I can figure out where this last map percentage is, but we've technically beaten the game. It's more, can I guess where the hidden area is? So we know we could just steamroll the boss. I don't think anybody is in disagreement that that was an absolute stomp. Um... Yeah, I can go up, up, and then all the way to the right. Okay. So I think we just need 100% map, and that might be about it. I'll buy the lore thing, in case that's needed for the ending. But it seems like we at least kept our times 4 multiplier. So if nothing else, we could collect souls that we might need later. I don't know if we'll ever get 100% like abilities unlocked, but just in case we need to buy something here. Oh, it's not- I can't put the droplet, of course I did. I think that happened last time I was in that room. But on the plus side, we're getting a lot of souls. So I need to go up one more. I want to check that room that I was confused about what to do. Maybe I forgot that I actually went in and did the right thing already. Game, please. Does the whip not hit on your character hitbox? I was thinking about it while we were going to and from different places. I was like, wait a minute. Maybe I actually know what to do here. Oops. That? Yeah, that's... Hey, okay, that's not where I thought this was. No, we went in here already. Not the room I thought it was. Hmm. Disregard. I was thinking I missed this room here in terms of checking items. Let me leave this room so we don't hear the sound effect. Let me look at the map again. So is there anything I might have missed? Here, there could be a room there, but I think we were checking around and didn't get anything useful. Anything in mechanism I feel like I miss? And it's possible that one of these is a... One of these could be a real block. Seeing if there's anything else that makes sense. I don't think I missed anything up here. Darkness, I think we covered pretty well. I don't think I'm going to go back into it. Apex, it seems like there's nothing else we could go to because it was pretty small. So I'm feeling pretty confident at least like the tap top half of the map is pretty accurate. I'm not so sure about like here, if there's like a room here, for example, because this area was pretty huge. Oh, I see there's a room we're missing here. Okay, so there's one room. I see one room on the map we could definitely go to. And then I want to check out this stretch. So let me warp to Mechanism 2. So we have one more room potentially to go to. 
I want to see if we can get it without the map reveal. Just staring at the map long enough. It probably needed crush blocks, to be fair. But on the plus side, we should now be able to look at the bestiary. And that other boss presumably counted. We're missing enemies 50 and 52. Somehow. Huh. So there's two monsters we never found? Really? <laughs> Alright chat, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. How is that possible? We just beat the game. What? I'm so confused. Where where would these enemies even be? Hmm. This one is special. Harry. Oh, you know what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what one of them. Okay, I know what one of them is. But what's the other one? Remember, chat, the game told us there's certain enemies you can only kill if you have orbs. I think I have to kill the worms in the ruins with the Shining Ray ability. Which we need more souls to do anyway. So that would be one of them, but I straight up missed an enemy somewhere? Hmm. Did I skip a... I must have skipped a one of enemy somewhere. Let me think. Is there anything that I would have skipped? Well, oh, that sucks. Is there anything I would have skipped in our normal playthrough? Hmm. Let me heal and think about this for a second. Is there an enemy I d didn't want to fight? I want to say there was something- Maybe I skipped an enemy in the prison down here? I'm str I'm thinking really hard, Chad, because I was like, we were generally pretty good at killing stuff, except for the worm, which we don't have the ability, but now we can afford. Since we're at the end of the game and we can afford to burn souls, so let me check down here real quick. I could use the key just because. I don't even get anything for using it, but I could use it. Oops. Down here. We're gonna explore down here real quick, because this is the area we probably visited the least. And then we're gonna go touch up those two rooms. On the plus side, our damage should stack forever, because I don't plan on dying again. That was very rude of the game, to put a thing that damages me when I land. I almost took damage again. Like, is there something here that I skipped? That's what I'm- that's what I'm curious about. Like, in here, for example? No, that's where we got the other character. Hmm. Oh boy, chat, we're testing my long-term memory. Was there something that I skipped? It would have been a one of enemy. Was there an enemy that was in an area that was just really annoying to go to? That would be why I would skip it. Nice kill. somewhere we got time I might as well as check okay. there's also this weird room I never understood On the plus side, I now have a million souls. Can we talk about this? A 
I'm getting like 300 plus a kill. We do need a lot. I think it's 400 per usage. So if I need to kill more than one with the Shining Ray, it might be important that I unlock it. Because the Shining Ray, I think, costs 4,000 to unlock. We'll just walk through this because it doesn't really matter. thinking, but it's like, nothing's really coming to mind at the moment. Unless there's like a mini boss or something that I just don't remember. Look, I'm stuck in the block. Plus side though, we are getting a ton of jewels. check one more room in case something spawn. The weird person room. Hmm. This is the only room I can really figure out. So I think I know where the last two are. Oh. What? Wait. Wait. What? 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 Wait. I was just stealing. Wait. I was just healing. Oh. Well, that explains it. So there is something you could do in this room. Holy, I was, I was literally checking my phone. What? <laughs> that scared me, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I literally was like, hold on, let me make sure I didn't miss any important messages for tomorrow. <laughs> well, okay, well that explains this. On the plus side, this guy's worth a lot of souls. Like, he is worth a disgusting amount of souls. You know what? This this works out. We're, we're all good. I mean, I'm not even sure how many I should get from him, other than a lot. Yeah, I guess it was just standing still, because, like, we jumped around and did things. Well, anyway, we're going to be here a little bit, because we still need to get his kill achievement. So presumably he's the other 50 or 51. Oh, we already got it. Um. I mean, at this point, chat, let's go for, let's say 60,000 souls. I want to make sure if we need to buy anything, we're not screwed. It's like 4,000 a kill. So let's do at least 10 more, nine more kills. And then heal up doing stuff. Also, we have the other ability to do more damage based off of our souls. Did I unlock that? I don't think I did. I'm also kind of curious how broken that is after we do this. Maybe the other character becomes a god. Pretty clean fight. Regen a little more health. Oh, I just realized. I guess when we were in that weird door in the apex, maybe that's what the admonished key was for that we picked up earlier. Forgot to mention, I'm now looking at the UI and I see it's not there anymore. I guess that answers that, I suppose. So many souls, chat. 
Well, at least we know where to go if I do want to cap souls, because it doesn't seem like it takes very long. And I can heal, like, a couple health while waiting. Kind of nice. Get a few more souls, Chad. In case we need to do a lot of Admonishing Ray, I'm hoping it dies in one hit. But it's possible it doesn't. Let's just... I'd rather just play it safe at this point. Let's go for... Let's let's see if it hits 100,000. Shouldn't take that much longer. And then we'll go check the final things. On the plus side, we're definitely powering up the... Uh, Castlevania style character with kills. I feel bad for this bonus boss or whatever is going to potentially be unlocked later. I'm assuming there's going to be a true final boss fight or something. Make sure our health total is a little better. At this point, it might even just be worth uh, paying for the candles to be reset. Because they're not hard to get to. We'll just sneak in a couple health points every now and then. It seems like there is a strategy to avoid getting hit by this thing, at least. It's pretty consistent, and I'm not even at max power. Although, I guess if you include all the attack plus ones, maybe I would be at a max power. Now that is what I'm talking about. We'll get one more for good measure. We need to unlock Admonishing Ray still, technically. Okay. Well, jump scare aside. Oh, there we go. That's some big damage. I mean, there's still a reason to kill them. I might actually not have enough souls for full level up. Never. Alright, so, I mean, I guess that answers that question. So we still have a couple places we could go to. Wow, we only did two on a stab. That was kind of sad, actually. Spike's always destroying me, as usual. Wish there was a way I could regen health while looking at the map, because I want to look at the map again. So we have to go to... where was it? The middle of Ruins of Ash. And then there was, I think, one other place I was thinking it would be. Like in here. I want to check Mechanism one more time. This is the before. That's the one we looked at the least. So I would not be surprised if there's hidden stuff there. Oh, taking out- you can heal during the elevator ride? Now that is unfair. Wait a minute, I just heal taking normal transportation? I'm gonna take a quick look here. If there's nothing here, we'll move on. Okay. I'm gonna go down further. Yeah, because there's this path. I don't think we ever checked. Because I would have popped it if I came up here. There is a secret passageway somewhere. Hmm. Here. Oh! There was another... I could have had even more souls? Oh my gosh. I wish I knew. So we're now at 99%. Found another another head. That also would have been very good to know. Right, chat, before we did our soul grind. But hey, I guess better late than never. Needless to say, I think we're gonna end up with a hilarious number of souls. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, as I suspected before, it was probably going to be Mechanism or the starting area before we got the rare room detector. Which did help a little bit, but we also saw the rare room detector was a lie. Chan, I would have liked to also just state, remember that we're only doing 32 with this guy? Before we buy Super Mega Upgrades, I'm really, really curious how strong this character is going to be. Does Chan want to make any guesses what his strength is going to be now that we're at 100,000 souls? Because we're going to go buy his upgrade where he gets damage based off of our souls. We, we have, did not do that yet, to my knowledge. Let's go to the Apex for that, because that's the easiest way to get there. So we now have a crazy soul multiplier. Yeah, if, if he starts chucking like 80 or 90 damage, or if he even chucks 100 damage, I'm like, okay, we're mating this character. He's actually just stupid now. Post game equal broken. Uh, let's see. Little does he know, chat. Oh, I never got the crit chance up. Yeah, let's give her her other ability. I'm gonna just max our attack real quick, don't mind me. Just casually buying all their abilities. Let's leave him kind of like this for now. Although, if, it's, if this maxes the health ups, is there a limit? Wait, how many can you get? Okay, this is getting insane. So I did nerf him more than he should be to pay for that. I, I kind of thought we were going to cap there, but wow, you need a lot of souls in that case. Alright, let's just go to... I guess Ruins of Ash 2 and go downward? Should be able to get a decent number of souls back either way. Now we have a times 6 multiplier, which means the Gold Knight gives us, or whatever it was called, gives us a billion. Though it does 43. Not, a, not as big as I thought. I mean, we have 41,000 souls, which is not a low number to be fair. So, oh, eh. I guess they thought you would be getting completely broken numbers of souls. I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it to be in like in the 60-70 re region at minimum. Kind of disappointing. But on the plus side, that means our current mage is just absolutely disgusting godlike now. Okay, so let's go basically straight down in a line. If anything tries to stop me, we whip it to death. Interestingly, there seems to be a glitch with the whip. If you throw the axe and then whip, the whip animation doesn't come out. I don't know if chat's noticing that. See that? Interesting. Something we weren't supposed to. Spiders aren't worth anything. Well, we can still get extra souls. Oops, I fell off. I don't think that matters. I think we do have to go this way. We do. Kill this thing, because it might be worth some souls. But clearly, at the end of the game, we just need to grind on the, the gold knight until he gives us a million. Oh, there we go. With extra souls there. At least I could say we still have enough if we really need to purchase upgrades, but ideally we don't. Though this room is the one I couldn't do anything in due to it being blocked. Still at 99%- oh my gosh. How chat, how? Plus side though. We could get- Ooh, can I actually reach that? Oh, I can with this. Okay. So, our boss killer got stronger, if those words even make any sense to you at all. We have one enemy we can kill. 
I have somehow still missed a room somewhere in this massive place. Where, oh, where is this last room? Right, Chan? I thought that would just be the easy clear. We'd be done. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm going to look at the map one more time. Maybe I'll feel inspired. I kind of doubt it at this point. Like, I feel like if there was something here, we would have seen it by now. We went into, like, a full circle here. This looks clear to me. Like, we went in a full circle here. Unless one of these rooms is not a gap and shouldn't be. I'm not sure what we missed. It's kind of crazy. Like, I think at this point we're missing legitimately just one room. One room somewhere in this massive mess. Now we're now we're playing the true Castlevania Symphony Night experience. Where you just miss something somewhere and you're like, oh no. Where's my 100%? Hmm... I mean, it looks like I should have everything, and that's the weird part. Like, I don't even see a point in the map that I feel convinced something should be here. Hmm. Actually, take that back. There is a point in the map where something could be. Did I check these rooms? I don't remember. Like, there could be a room here, 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 or more likely here. Because this is kind of a big gap. We, we've explored this area to death. I'm pretty sure it's not down here. So I, I'm willing to believe there's something I've missed in Gorgon Tomb. Or I wasn't paying attention while going through Catacombs. I'm willing to concede that maybe I missed something here. I don't see anywhere else on the map that makes sense. We, we have now looped through this area. And there, the rooms are so dense here. And we would have seen if something was here, because I just walked by here to go to Cyclops' Den. And there's no way something is in Cyclops' Den, because we've been there. Alright, let's 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 check Oregon Tower. I refuse to go by the map. <laughs> right, chat? Refuse. And the other thing we have to do is, let's get the 100% bestiary. We have to go to the beginning of Ruins of Ash, I think. We're almost at max power with this character. Wow, that one shot is real though. Oh, it only hits horizontal. Oh, uh, well, I guess we learned. Goodbye, those souls. My right, chat, rest in peace, those souls. So, just need to get, oh, I went like the complete wrong way. That's fine. <laughs> I'm looking to go to the beginning of this. Oh, you can jump through the floor. At least you did that. What a jerk. Wow, after all that, his damage is so bad. Unless it's like a damage multiplier, and if I got higher strength, then he would do more damage versus a set amount. Because he is really under strength, so it's possible he should be doing like several thousand a second, but just isn't quite there. I'm gonna kill these just to get a little more souls for the next room. Alright, uh, so I'm looking for... it might be down here. I'm looking for an early room. It's this one. Yeah, this room. Okay, I'm assuming that's the last enemy that we need. How many of these do we need to kill? Three more. Okay, that's not too bad. We have a lot of souls left over then. Okay, and that is the now final enemy. We should get something for 100% bestiary. Get something immediately. Monster mode. Unlocks monster mode game mode. Hmm. Lock all of the secrets in the secrets menu. Beat all the modes. I'd be willing to try that out. Okay, so now we just gotta get to a warp. That makes sense to me. 
I did not mean to press that. But it is funny nuking him. Oh wait, that actually also killed him? So I didn't need to buy her ability, our Meteor nuke already worked? Oh. I guess that makes sense. Meteor OP champ. Uh, let's go from Subterranean first. Cause that's less of a walk. So many points left over still. 139 health, actually disgusting. Uh, did the game lie to me? Is there a secret passage here? Oh, is it the room I couldn't figure out what to do? Wait, hold on. Is this the room that I was looking for earlier? No, it's not. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, 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 oh. If this is... Oh, it... yes, this room. Oh, this is the room I was trying to look for earlier. My bad, chat. I was mentioning before I was looking for a room. Is it? Is it as stupid as just grabbing the vine? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I missed it when I tried it the other time. That is so upsetting. I swear I did it, and then I was like, you know what? I don't think I actually try grabbing that vine. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Power upgrade. I know. Remember, like, I kept going... I even went to that room in this session where I'm like, where is the secret? I was like, where is it? <laughs> like, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Secret solved. Are we at 100%? That's not 100% math! What are we missing? How? How are we still missing something? I don't understand. Chat, how? I was like, wait, no, I genuinely Whoa, don't know where this, this is. Bad. Holy, where's the last room? <laughs> where is it? Are you really gonna make me get a map upgrade for this? I can't I hate believe it. this. I hate it. Damn, I thought I did so well here, and I just got absolutely bamboozled. So unfair. Yeah, we have so many things. Unless it's like one of these inner rooms. I know, it's so unfair. Man, I don't even have a slight idea where it is. I might have to just buy this map upgrade. I didn't want to, and I felt like I did a pretty good job. But this last room, I don't know where it is. Hmm. Yeah, like that one was like, okay, I remember that that room had a secret, and we went to that multiple times in the session. Oh, man. It's like, it could just be anywhere. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might have to just make it tell me. I, I don't think I know. What's the quickest place I could do? I give up, chat. I don't know where it is. I don't feel like looking at the map anymore. I, I am like 100% out of ideas. I don't think it's an out... It could be an outward tile somewhere. And plus, I guess I should show off if the map works. Guess it would be good to double check if that actually works. So close. I know, chat. We were so close. I must be missing literally one room. Like, literally. Like, there's no way I'm missing even one more tile. I refuse to believe. Oops. Swap into this character. Do your max. Wow, that costs a lot of souls to cap her. I'm not gonna lie. Or we'll improve the whip guy a little bit. Um, just re return 69 candles. I don't know what mercy is. I don't feel like finding out right now. All right, so what we're gonna do, chat? What we're gonna do? I wanna, I wanna get enough points to get the remaining abilities in like one go. But we need to go back to that one place first. I'm also kind of curious what the bow girl's max damage is. Let's see how much damage she does now. I mean, when she crits, it's good damage. The multi-hit is kind of sick. How do I get over there? Oh yeah, that's right. We slightly improved our whip guy's damage, which is always nice. 
He's two-shotting right now already. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up to 200 kills. And then those will be possibly the only kills I get for the remainder of the game. So that way, I will be at max power with him. And we should also see how gross the amount of souls are from this area is. Oh, we're getting 13 a tick? That's so sick. Wow, that's a lot of souls. I think we could agree, chat. That is a disgusting amount. Well, we can afford the map reveal now. Okay, let's get a couple more. Let's go back up to 100,000. Should not take long with the time six at least. We're getting like what, over 8,000 souls a kill? That's not bad. He's just straight up getting farmed at this point. We're at the end of the game. Might as well as continue. Nasty. Well, I guess I don't need to make 25 gold knight kills. Let's at least get back up to 100,000. I'm surprised I bought all those character upgrades and there were still more health upgrades. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, we spent, like, almost 80,000 just on health upgrades. So the game must expect some insane level of grinding. Or a new game... Maybe it expects, like, a new game plus with our current abilities? I don't know. But either way, I just want to get it done in one sitting. No, no entire other playthrough. Trying to get a little health. So if I am missing any extra attack with this character, it should be interesting. And then I'm curious how much the book thrower guy does in damage. Two, two more. Actually, we already killed that many. You know what? Let's just actually make it 200 with these guys, so I don't have to come back here again. Nine more chat, and then we'll move on. We've we've done longer farms in this game. And this actually is giving us points, so I might as well do this. I'll still randomly kill as we go. Because apparently we need an insane number of orbs to cap. The bow girl attack and defense is capped. I think the mage's attack might need a boost still. The whip guy has a lot of things that could potentially get upgraded. Like, he's already really good, but I could just make him do more damage for hit, too. Let's see how close we are with whip guy. Three more. I think whip guy is actually out killing the mage. I think I'm just willing to state that, chat. I think he just is now. Yeah, he's actually still out killing the mage, even though the mage got multiple attack ups. Take that as you will, chat. That's actually gross how fast he is at killing. Oh, we hit 200. No, chat, we're going to 200,000. <laughs> now that now that we have this, I'm like, wait a minute, he's actually faster than mage. Well, we got proof. He's now officially our DPS character. When we're at 200,000, I want to hit once with the other guy's ability to see how much he does. Oh, that took a little while because I missed a couple whips. Unfortunate. Yeah, let's get to 200k. Those, like, those upgrades were crazy expensive. One more for the road chat. Bump. And regen some health. Only 47? I don't know about that, chat. Again, unless it's a multiplier and not flat damage. If it's a multiplier, then, you know, potentially we can make him super crazy, but that is, like, hilariously terrible. I know. Compared to, like, the god of the whip here. Clearly one of the best characters in the game. 
Starts overpowered, grows stronger, great passives. Bop. You should be able to one-shot nearly everything in the game at this point, except for the advanced enemies. And just think, you can still get stronger. <laughs> he three-shot him? <laughs> Holy, right chat? That damage, though. This falling? Yeah, you still heal while falling, okay. Oops, someone in the video. Okay, I'm officially out of ideas. I want the game to tell me where it is. I did my best. With meta, I have no idea. I'm sure if I stared at the map long enough, I might see it. I just need the game to tell me. I don't think I could do it in a reasonably efficient veins anymore. But I'm just looking for one room and that whole map. <laughs> Epimetheus is like, ah, oh, I see you've returned. Oh my god, how many have you killed? <laughs> Like just, you're an actual monster. How do, how do I not have enough souls? How is this even, how is this even possible? How is 50,000 in upgrade game? What the heck is this? Holy. How is that not enough? Epimetheus. Yes? I've explored this tower to my wit's end. Please show me what I've missed. You've done well, mortal. You've explored. Thoroughly, without my help until now. Uh, very well. Go forth and see all there is. I know, that was insane. Where is the room that I missed? Oh, so it was in mechanism. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think I would have guessed that. We did go through here. I guess it makes sense. I never went along this path. That's fine. I, I was never going to find that. So at least we now know looks what it looks like when we do it. Plus side though. You know what we could do? We could give the other characters some small damage boosts. So if I accidentally use him, it'll do some damage. Uh let's go ahead and pay for a second insight. Hear us, O Gorgon Lords. We've come bearing the fruit of life. Take the child, a testimony of our love for you. Forgive us, for we are sinners. But we are sinners. Grant us your almighty protection and guidance. Grant us your wisdom. Grant us your love. Grant us your love. Accept this offering, for we've accepted to serve you now. And for eternity. All hail the Gorgon Lords. All hail the Gorgon Lords. All hail the Gorgon Lords. Alice, what have we done? Nimbus' story begins to make more sense. Third insight. A sacrifice. Sad, is it not, that its parents would throw it away like this? Humans are scum, we shall feast. But this child is too small to eat. It will do the three of us no good. A feast is a feast, regardless of size. Silence, what do you propose? I propose to use the armor. This child can be persuaded to help us. We could go strong enough to break free of our bonds to this tower. Ugh, very well. We shall tend to its broken and diseased body immediately. Once the time has come, we will install the armor. And only if the child is able to overcome the trial of the tower will it earn its survival. But if it fails, we shall tear it apart. Okay. So we did get something for doing that. Black Knight story. Watch all the cutscenes of Black Knight's backstory. Used from the main menu. Okay. So we did unlock something. I... Didn't mean to press that, but you know what? Let's celebrate with Meteor, I guess. Chat, that is actual insanity that 200,000 orbs was not enough. Like, <laughs> that scaling was out of control. The fact that we didn't even get to Zeke at all is like mind boggling how expensive those upgrades are. Would I need like 400,000 to complete it? We'll, we'll do that later. All right, let's go to mechanism.
I mean, at this point, he should just hit like a like a total beast, right, chat? Like, is he just straight up hitting for like 80 something? Skeleton buddy run, 96. Oh my gosh. Death from above. Actual one shots. Yeah, I mean, at that rate, we're probably going to need almost another 300,000 just on Z. It's crazy. Well, on the plus side, I can kill on my way there. So at least we could get some souls. Not that we get very many in this area. Oops, can't go that way. Well, at least I'm still willing to say that this character is the best character. He's very tanky, decent damage, fast enough attack rate that he does actually out-damage the mage, as long as he gets a couple double hits. He's super broken. So I feel like if people said this character is bad, I think they just don't know the tech of multi-hitting with him. Because he already hits for like double, it's like he's always critting compared to other characters, and then he could just double hit on top of that, which is gross. Ah, uh, yeah, see there's a secret here somewhere. Probably just hold right, right? Yeah, unfortunate that I missed this. Oh, it's like another warp area. Hmm. Wait, I could have gotten potentially another mage upgrade? Wait, is there? Is there really another upgrade for this monster? No way, there can't be. Greetings, old man. Algus, I'm glad to see you're still alive. In one piece. Huh, as am I. We must cut the pleasantry short. I don't have much time. Wow, I've been playing... He's, he could get upgraded more. This is insanity. What is this creature you have summoned? It's a homunculus. Are you familiar with what it is? A creature that is bound to the soul of a living being. Is that correct? Yes, you are correct. But why? It seems you already know the answer to your own question. I must go. Fare they will. Hmm. He vanished again. <laughs> he vanished again, again. Can speak? It, it can speak. No, it can't speak. It just, mim it just mimics me because it is connected to me, to my soul. I now understand why you bound this creature to me. Thank you, old man. Whoever you are. So now he always fires. There we go, Chad. Just gotta gotta regen a little little teeny bit of health, you know. Yeah, we apparently could have defeated the other final boss more convincingly. Oh, speaking of which, that is 100%, right? Okay, thank you. Please be 100%. So yeah, now we get pretty consistent extra damage. Maybe this will compete with the whip guy? And the whip guy's still not at full strength, as a reminder. He's, he somehow is still not at full strength. I don't understand. He's, he's got a couple more strength upgrades to go. I guess I'll go to Apex, level him up. Oh, that's a funny looking face. Alright, so let's go beat the boss now that we have 100% and we saw all the insights and we killed all the monsters. There should be nothing left for us to do. The series should be done. The chat is witnessing. It is now done. It took us about 14 hours. Two hours at least was me messing around and getting lost, for sure. But we're about to true ending this game, I'm pretty sure. But on our victory road there, let's take a small detour. Oh, that's right, he needs 50,000. Um... I know inner fire was broken. I feel it burns. What's mercy do? Please give me mercy. Grant you a second chance before you die. Yes, he'll survive, but barely. Okay. Wish. I'm kind of scared to hit these other ones. When we're done with the game, I might go see what these do. But let's get even more damage and get extra health because it's funny. How are there still more health upgrades? 
How? It's impossible, Chad. This is actually impossible. <laughs> let's let's get seek more damage, I guess. So if we are forced to use him, it shouldn't be completely heinous. So the mage is done. The warrior is also not done. I guess we could power him up slightly in case we do need to use him. That way it shouldn't feel totally abysmal to play as those characters. Let's go save. And now that we know his plate and we've seen the whole map and we definitely have the homunculus now. Let's see what happens. Remember, inner fire makes us do more damage. So that might make us pretty broken. The so Black Knight's here again. Nothing changes here. I'm really curious how much we do now, chat, with all the attack upgrades. Yeah, we're not dealing with sky attacks, chat. Listen. I understand you're suffering, but you don't have to do this. Uh, so that hasn't changed. I guess he diseased out there or something. Hmm. So far, nothing is different so far. I like the fact that I could just troll and regen health over here. Alright, Chad, hold on a second. I just just get my health up a little more. Oh, I don't know what it's doing there. Let's stop it from doing whatever it's about to do. That seems more annoying to deal with than just popping this. That was easier to hit, I think. Inner fire is helping a little bit. Curiosity about something. That's some serious damage. Thank you, Winter Fire. Oh, hey, we, we saw a new attack briefly, chat. So now we're gonna beat the game again. What changes this time? I imagine when he says he's taking our soul, the homunculus might either become us or take the place of us for the soul swap. I think he's where they're going with it. There's the Black Knight again. It's over. Thank the Titans. We can leave. Go alive for now. It was sealed. You to live a long, happy life. You won't be helping anybody. You miserable, you're suffering. Okay, so now let's see if this changes at all. Now we should have the Humunculus? Question mark. I'm Amethius. 
You have completed your task. I've come to collect what I am owed. Owed? Oh, isn't my life worth the countless souls I brought to you? Mm, yes, a small delight. But those souls are weak, mere droplets in an ocean. You, on the other hand, you acquire a soul like yours. That is something I cannot relinquish. I served you for years. I deserve more from you. I have heard enough. A deal is a deal. Your soul is mine. This is new, I think. We argued with him over there. We got pierced. So he got humunculus baited there. What? What is this? You know what that is. A part of my soul. Trickery, you play a dangerous game, Algus. Part of my soul is bound to this creature. I have to wait for the rest, I'm afraid. In other words, you won't be seeing me until I'm ready to die. Farewell, Epimetheus, and thank you. Algus! Dot dot dot, that's where you get for learning to talk, pretty much. No one has ever dared to trick me before. <laughs> Algus, you've earned yourself some time. I will let you go for now. But someday, I will come to claim what is owed. Farewell. I look forward to the day we meet again. Okay, it's a slightly different ending that time. Yay, other ending question mark? chant different images I guess slightly remember unlock the black knight unlocks the black knight game mode okay so we got a game mode for that so we would have to be monster mode and black knight mode to unlock the final thing i'm assuming also have to clear boss rush mode which does seem like it would be kind of a pain depending on what abilities we're allowed to bring into it if i'm allowed to bring in my current characters with their current stats i'm not that worried Wow, what a damage difference between these two files. So we'll probably stop here. I'm just going to regen some health as we talk mm -hmm. about things. All right, chat, you might as well ask. How do we feel about the game? I guess in terms of how the session went. Well... I think the bosses were pretty easy, but some of that has to do with we were just extremely broken. When, when we went to explore areas, we ended up with like a crazy amount of things. The fact that some of those upgrades are still not att attainable to us with a time 6 multiplier and we killed like upwards of 40 of those gold knights is actually insane. I'm really curious how long it takes to unlock the remainders, but I don't think I'm going to go all the way through. I don't mind powering up some characters. It's possible the health upgrade goes all the way to 99, but that's just kind of madness. 
I'm hoping by having the file with better character stats overall, if I do want to try the other bosses, the three primary characters are pretty good, and even our axe thrower should also be decently upgraded regardless. Plus we got a, a whole bunch of plus ones, and if we can stand still and regen health in those other bosses fights as well, that might just be fine. But I think that's something for us to explore another day. So let's pause here, chat. And I guess that's all I have to really add. I mean, I guess we cleared the map. There is like, I, I got really close. I found all but two rooms on my own, whatever. The ring lied to us on at least, what was it? Four different occasions on this particular stream, which is super unfortunate. But hey, that final boss got absolutely dunked on by Algus, so the, we finally got to try with the ability boosters. We didn't even get to see what everything did in the shop still, so maybe we'll come back in the main playthrough and check it. I'll see how I feel about playing another mode. It depends on how fun the other modes are, on whether or not I want to complete them, to be honest with you. I don't mind at least trying them for like an hour. Yeah, the stream is also very broken. I don't mind trying them for at least an hour each, maybe. But uh, it really depends. I mean, I'm trying to picture, like, in monster mode, do you get multiple monsters? Does the Black Knight naturally have, like, double jump? Do you not need to character swap at all? Does he get healing from other methods? Kind of curious about it. But anyway, uh, that's it for now in terms of updates. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and I guess see you when we try the other modes.